A G L E As always, I'm your DM Blake Peoples, and here is your cast. Now sponsored by White Claw. Now sponsored by White Claw. And Target. Um, and the, the Eagles. White Claw of the Eagles. And the official, dinner. The official actual play show of the Philadelphia Eagles. It's okay. All right. Well, we're back. You, it's, it's season two. I'm so excited. And my computer's not frying right now. So yeah, you plugged it in. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. No, no, I feel like I need to share. For, you know, all those, for all those wondering what was wrong, you know, there's a power cable that just wasn't plugged in. Okay, but here's the thing. It was never plugged in, and it, it used to work. It worked fine with it not plugged in before, so I didn't know. I thought it was extra. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Go birds. We're here. We're playing Dungeons and Dragons again. It may be episode 62, but as far as I'm concerned, it's season two, 69. episode one. Okay. 69. <laughs> sure. 69 soon. <laughs> sure thing. 69. Um, My wife. Oh, and we're back. We're back with a fucking vengeance, aren't we? Um, all we right. Before you started the stream. Yeah. All right. So I would like to first just start the campaign off by thanking some folks. We've got a bunch of cool uh, music that we use. A lot of it is Kevin McLeod, um, but a lot of it is also Artlist. And I have like a little doc with all of the songs in it um, that is linked in our YouTube videos. So like, Can go I check that out. Yay. Um... <laughs> We knocked someone off a climbing wall. We knocked Peeves right off the climbing wall with our start, so that's good to hear. Um, yeah. I would also like to thank Foundry, I guess, for uh, for letting us... Letting us? It's a product. We use, use Foundry, so thank you, Foundry. Um, and also Dungeon Draft and Wonder Draft for map making and map assets and two minute tabletop for map assets as well. So those are the thanks that I would like to give out and to viewers like you, thank you. Cause uh, we are now sponsored by PBS. That's right, you guys. Every every Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. you can find reruns of Dungeon Party Show. Um, I hope somebody watches this in like six years and is like, is what? there certain like, <laughs> are there like legal terms for like saying you're sponsored by a thing but not being sponsored? <laughs> there's there's legal terms for not s s not saying you're sponsored by a right. thing when you actually are. But we're fine. <laughs> no. We're fine to lie. As a as a, as, a, as the owner of a video production company, I will tell you, it's called working on spec. Yeah, we're working on right? spec you're for not, PBS. You're not actually working for the, but you're saying that you uh, are yeah. in the hopes that they'll notice you. Got yeah, it. that's that's the that's the channel I want noticing oh, me is sweet. PBS Kids. We um, could probably get on like local access if we really wanted to. We actually probably could. <laughs> oh, we definitely. Could. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not. I walk, um, I walk to the PBS building every day. I can knock on the door. And see what's going on. <laughs> we we are we are not. We're currently on Twitch, but if you're watching this on YouTube, we stream this. So, now you know. All right, that's all my announcements. I would like to turn the flow over to our lovely players to see if anybody has any announcements or cherished bits that they would like to do. Real quick, cherished bits. Does everyone have their script? Not this again! I thought you would have forgotten! <laughs> this isn't even the right campaign. Hold on. It's here somewhere. Oh my god. All right, whatever. I, I, I went off book, but I have it here just in case. But I'm off book, like as you should be. I love, I love that we're just not gonna play D and D today. Like that's just that's that's, that's where we're at. Script. Get that's out of here. Go <laughs> Got to make sure it's uh, quick access. Terrible. All right, any real cherished bits? I still have a cherished bit, Chelsea. <laughs> if you would like to go first, though. <laughs> my cherished bit has stopping my cherished bit has become a bit. That's true. All right, y'all. Right, I... It's been a while. <laughs> My God! <laughs> it has been a while. Hold on. I need to pull up my notes app so I make sure I don't forget anything. So. Wow. It is time for another round of What's Chelsea, Chelsea Playing? Playing! So, it has been a very long time since we last had a session of What's Chelsea Playing. It sure is. And I've played a lot of games. But there's only one fucking game that mattered that last year. If you recall, back in September of 2021, there was an announcement 
for a game, just this little indie game called God of War Ragnarok. <laughs> yes, there was. And it yeah. made and it made me go, do I want to play God of War? <laughs> hmm. And that sent me down a spiral of un healthy obsession and love with a man and his boy boy and now oh here's where it gets dramatic my friends as the release came closer i realized i i really want to play this on a ps5 <laughs> i was i was without a ps5 i signed up for every raffle every amazon offer every like I tried to do the, like, be up to date on the drops at Best Buy. Fucking sucked. Two weeks before the November, November 9th release date. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was November 9th. It was around there. Uh-ish. Um, I was looking through my email, and I see something from Amazon that... Well, wait, I wrote it down. The, t the, the subject line said... Only 24 hours left to claim. Normally you ignore those, right? <laughs> Something in my soul told me, open this damn email. And I opened it and it said, you have been selected to get a fucking PS5. Yeah! I cried, I screamed, my boyfriend came into the room, thought something was wrong. My boyfriend. And he, <laughs> just my boyfriend. Yeah, that guy, we um, don't know him. <laughs> so, no you don't, I like to keep my private life. Yeah, private. of course, of course, uh, my apologies, um, I apologize. Yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, um, Kelsey, your address is, um... No! Just <laughs> um, and so, yeah, so two, like, two, one week before, uh... God of War Ragnarok was released. I got a PS5. Oh my gosh. Um, Those fireworks it, are for you, Chelsea. And it was... And I, I pre-ordered for the first time. No, I didn't. I think I also pre-ordered a Lego game, but that's beside the point. I pre-ordered. <laughs> played it at midnight for like two hours. And when I tell you this is the best fucking game I've ever played. It's the best fucking game ever. It's I... gorgeous. It's, it's, it's just... It's the 2018 game but better and i'm gonna cry <laughs> and then then christopher judge won best performance as he absolutely should have and, and gave I the cried. greatest speech of all time and i cried the more. longest speech of all time hell yeah and dude so it's still happening um <laughs> so i'm saying hey, 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 is still hey, christopher judge is still speaking and then we're not going to talk about the game awards because everybody's entitled to their own opinion but whatever we um, i mean we 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 had a whole stream about how fucking insane those game awards were so yeah <laughs> um so beside that and there are there is still post game stuff i need to do it's just beautiful almost the end p.s i am also replaying breath of the wild nice um and we you're are trying to get all 900 koroks again are you kidding again? me again before the uh, release date yeah? of Tears of the King. Are you Chelsea? Yes. Why? I'm not <laughs> joking. This is Chelsea. look. Getting 900 Koroks is my best bragging right. Chelsea. I'm gonna do it again. I am worried about your health. <laughs> Can we have an intervention right here before? <laughs> I'm fine. I drink water. I I, I make my own no, doctor's appointments. Water. You do not have to worry. Okay. About. Okay. I trust you. Oh Koroks God. round two. Electric boogaloo. Good Let's luck. Go. Good luck. Also. Uh, I started playing um uh my boyfriend introduced me to this, <laughs> this game bit, this bit sucks actually <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going with it until i can do it without laughing um uh, i've started playing wind waker um it's solid i hear great things about wind waker it's i've solid. never gotten to play it though when i was a kid i was playing cool. it and um, that, you know that first level when you're in the dungeon, you have to be stealthy? I got caught and couldn't get out of the jail cell, <laughs> so I stopped playing. <laughs> the full oh, Wind Waker but... experience. You never checked that is, that is, There is that a is, level in Wind is... Waker, which is just in the Korok Forest. Yeah. And when I told you, I cried. Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> if anyone deserves.
deserves to cry after seeing Korox. It's you, Chelsea. <laughs> Stopping a, game. <laughs> Stopping a game before the end because you can't figure out what the fuck the developers wanted you to do is truly like the like early 2000s, late 90s experience. That was me. Game. That was like, me with Monster Hunter. Well, that makes sense with Monster Hunter, honestly. I know it wanted me to kill the monsters. <laughs> oh. I know I was trying to turn around, and yet it kept making me run into a wall. It was yeah. the game's fault, not mine. Definitely. Well, like, Chelsea, yeah, I think sure. you're forgetting like a, a game that you played. With oh, a yeah. Person. And I played, and I started playing It Takes Two with my bestest other boyfriend. <laughs> oh, do we know him? <laughs> the other women? Do you know the other boyfriend? <laughs> Who? Uh, yep. I also played it. Uh, I also played it takes two with my brother, and it is very weird to go through that game as a married couple with your brother. <laughs> Winfield and I went through it right. as a married couple, but we're kind of like a divorced couple in real life. Yeah. I feel like. Don't. I have start no basis for saying that. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I have wait, a very wait, important. This has. Wait, Tommy, she's got. She's got to finish. finish. She's got to finish. There's this an outro. has been another round of what's Chelsea playing. All right. All uh, right. Korox, baby. Well, let's keep going. Good. We've been streaming for 15 minutes. Who cares? Let's do it. Damn it! I, I said I was trying good. to keep that short. Well, you, I have you a very important cherished bit to mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. add to the group here. So. I have, these are the books that I've collected in the time that yeah. we've been away. So I have the Elric Saga, part like, one and two. Like, like I don't know what brothers, the hell that like is. Like the Brothers Elric? Yes, I have a, I shit you not, a fantasy smut novel that was given to me personally by the author uh, called The Unseen Hand that I last night read the sexiest part of. Holy shit, it's dirty. Then I also have... Highways design and construction, always a sexy addition uh, <laughs> to the uh, to the bear. And then I have my personal favorite, and this is a book that I found that I never had an opportunity to show to the stream. But it's called Letters of a Self-Made Merchant to His Son. Whoa! Um, it's just, Pretty sure it's that's just, just called God of War. <laughs> it's just people. It's just a, a father telling his son story. So everybody, select your select your book in your page, please. Anybody speak up? What do you want to hear from? Um, sexy old books. book, sexy book. You want yeah, the sexy book? Yeah. Can I can I pick a random page? Yes, you can. Ninety six. Um, here it is. By the way, the the author 96, also designed yeah. all of the maps and like made all the art in the book. So, and when I tell you, I can't even show you some of these pages on stream. No. Okay. Page ninety six. Second paragraph, first two sentences. Page 96, second paragraph, first two sentences. Coming right up. This is fantasy smut at its finest. Although she does, she does like, she's patient with it. But let me tell you. All right, second <laughs> paragraph. Um, Brat gowled. I heard Yar slap Averin. He demanded that she tell him about a secret passage, but she only uttered nonsense. This made the thief angry. He lifted her and carried her down the stairs, but I played dead. When he stepped over me, I stabbed him with the poison dagger. Thank That's God. Creepy. Thank God that dagger. wasn't porn because um <laughs> I We were pretty close. Let me tell you, there was some porn <laughs> nearby. I hope we I hope we avoid the porn because this one does go on YouTube. <laughs> All right, dagger. I hardly know her. That's it. That's it. All right. Oh, my speaking job. of dagger, I just got the dagger card in um uh Marvel um a Marvel snap. So my movement deck has really leveled up. Yeah. All I right. Need human torch. Mm. Are we ready to start the game? I think so. I just lost the game. We've been waiting on you. I'm gonna. Like, what the I'm fuck? gonna. I'm gonna end you personally, Michael. <laughs> All right. We're starting. We're starting. We're gonna start. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> You'd think I'd have music lined up for this, but I didn't. Um. Okay. We're gonna. Like, can I? Can I say? What? You're picking all of the pieces that I love the most for the start of a campaign. So good job. 
<laughs> okay. I'm glad. All right. <clears throat> <sighs> okay. Session 62. Year two. Here we go. Don't you fucking fireball me as I start this. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> All right. It's a muggy summer night. One of those evenings that feels like it should have cooled off as the sun set, but only seemed to get warmer. The air is filled with distant sound. A festival is persevering a ways away, and the music and laughter is rolling up the hill, becoming muffled echoes by the time it reaches the facility. The door to the facility creaks open, and a wizened figure shuffles through. He relocks the door slowly but precisely, as he has done so many times before. He looks around at the warehouse and sighs wearily before getting to work. One by one, he approaches the pre-drawn circles and encants, bringing them flickering back to life, the arcane glow illuminating his face sharply each time. His cheeks, ruddied from near daily exposure to this magic, are bunched contemplatively. How had he gotten here? He thinks back to his start, to his promising days as a conjuration prodigy, to his first teleportation circle, to his father's confused but earnest approval. Oh well, it seems that not all are meant to change the world, and he has long come to terms with the fact that providing connection isn't such a bad gig either. As he finishes this row of circles, he meanders over to the next. Still, he thinks, it would have been nice to have been remembered. Well, it's not too late for that. The wizard whips around at the voice. No one else should be in here on his shift. He scans the room, no sign of anyone, but one of the teleportation circles has gone out, as if used. I will certainly remember you, my friend. The same voice again, but from behind this time. The old man turns towards it, hands sparking with electricity. He may not have had a magic duel for years, but an old dog doesn't forget his old tricks. There's a squelching sound, a burning in his chest. He looks down to see a hand plunge deep into his ribs. The lightning in his hand flickers out as his eyes, struggling to remain open, track the hand up to the arm, up to the figure it belongs to. After all, the figure continues as casually as if you were asking for the time. You opened the door for me. The hand retracts from the wizard's chest and he slumps to the ground, those images of his life flashing again, now for the last time. The figure shakes the blood from its hand and straightens its collar. It begins to walk away before pausing and turning back to the dying man. It bends down and puts his face inches from his. Its eyes flash green. One last thing, if you don't mind, friend. Which way to the capital? Shundi, you wake up in your bedroom at Soul Rift Manor. Today is the day! <clears throat> There's a note on your bedside table. <laughs> okay, we went to clown music immediately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there is a note on your bedside table, um, and it tells you you're expected to take one final meal with your, um, with your guardian before returning Yay. to school. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Uh, you have you have some time before before um, you're expected at the dining hall though. So let me know what you would like to do as you wake up here. Um, I'm gonna probably for the like fourth or fifth time check my bags to make sure everything is in its place and perfectly secure so that nothing shifts during travel. Yep. Uh, particularly the plushies, make sure that they're nice and safe. They're they're as safe as the last three times you checked. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I guess now that that's taken care of, I'll just get dressed and go to the meal. All right, you get dressed and you head on over to the dining room. As you enter the dining room, the setup is as it normally is, but Resk isn't. For the first time since you've known him, he looks tired. He's, his head is leaned in one hand, and while the other is absentmindedly writing on a napkin with a quill. He doesn't really seem to notice you entering. Good morning. Mm. Yes, Shandi, please sit. So, <sighs> many gestures to the chair that is set up for you. Yeah, I'll take my seat. It's a chair you, you've become accustomed to over having these meals with him during the summer. Um, so, today you return to your program. Master Feltine has reported adequate progress for you this summer, so do try to keep it up over the year. No more 
shenanigans like last year, if you please. Oh, I, I believe we intend to keep things quiet this year. Good, good. As well you should, I have enough on my mind with the Emperor's new friend making a mess of Parliament. I do so hope I will not have to expend as much effort towards you this year as well. <laughs> though, though that being said, that being said, I do think that this year may be time to cash in on my investment for your little school. See Master Horig before you make for the way station. He has something for you to deliver to your higher ups. <clears throat> Any one in particular, or just the administrators, whoever, whoever's in charge of scheduling and business and whatnot. I don't know their names. Very well. <sighs> Good. Good. Well, I expect I expect great things from you this year, Shanti. I, I will do my best to live up to your expectations. As you well should. <clears throat> and he just, uh, he goes back to drawing on his uh, his parchment. He, he hasn't touched his food. Can I try to move my eggs around <laughs> with my fork? Eat a little bit. Yeah, I mean, unless you start more conversation, he seems like he said what he needs to say to you. <laughs> oh, yes. What? What is it? Oh, no. I was just a uh, slight cough. It's fine. Right. Well, then. <clears throat> <sighs> Do they teach you much about Simorian politic? Well, we did have a politics course. Uh, we yes, plenty taught of by the lovely Colrell, no? Uh, yes, then. Yes. Right. Well, good to know. <clears throat> and he continues writing. He's he's definitely like holding something back from you here, but he's he's trying he's 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 driving at something, but he's not willing to drive all the way. Is is there a reason you asked about Zymorian politics? Oh, no, I, than... It is my it is my profession. <laughs> did, you, did, you, the haunted house. did you hear the street urchins? They're loud today. Uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, it is my business. Zymorian politic. I, I am a Where? member of the House of Lords, and it would do you well to learn a bit of it. Oh, well, in that case, I will do what I can. Good. Well, I have some things to see to today. Make sure you're out of here before 10. That is when my family is coming, and we wouldn't want an awkward interaction, would we? Of course not. Very well. Best of luck. I hope I do not hear from you. No offense, of course, but if I hear there's a problem, and if there's a problem, I have to fix it, so... Understood. These, I, we need to get them out of this district. These urchins are screaming. See, I talked to Master Horror. Well, I, I, I hear the local blast ball team has made it to the, the uh, Empire's Championship yes, tonight. Yes, fly rocks fly, they say. <laughs> Go birds. Go birds. Uh, all right, well, best best oh, of luck, no whatever. <laughs> uh, and he, he actually gets up and just picks up his papers and, and heads on out. Living you to finish your meal in peace. I'm gonna finish my eggs. All right. Yeah, you finish them up. All right, and then I'm gonna head out and go go see Master Horig. All right, cool. You you head out. You uh, you go to where Master Horig's room usually is, and you knock on the door, and there's no answer. Um, but like a few seconds later, you feel a heavy hand on your shoulder. Um, you turn around to see Master Horig, uh, half orc in his late fifties. I gotta skip the song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know there was there was children yelling in this song. Um, you uh, you feel a heavy hand on your shoulder and you see Master Horror. He's a half orc in his late fifties. Um, he looks to have seen his fair share of battles with serious scarring covering his always exposed arms. His hair is short and gray, though it has not receded even a little bit. His massive tusks protrude out from under a bushy and sharp looking mustache that connects to a fairly unkempt beard. He's built like a mountain, and his go-to attire, sleeveless leather armor scored by years of blade marks, only helps to accentuate this stature. Uh, you're surprised, as always, at how quietly this mountain of a man can move. Yeah, you took me off guard. I tend to do that, don't I? Uh, he, he pulls out a scroll. The master wanted me to give you this before you left. 
Um, he said to deliver it to your administrators. Um, Very well. Best of luck. Do you, do you know what it is? It might not be my place to say so, but when you're in a position like ours, it's best not to look into these sort of things. I would recommend not reading it. Um, you only live as you, you only live as long as your decisions let you live, especially in the business that we are in, and that sort of decision yeah. doesn't help. Yes, I, I've learned that lesson before. Yeah, I heard. Oh, moon's on her wheel. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> well, uh, I suppose I'll see you in a matter of months again. Yes, see you on your break. Have a, have a pleasant rest of the season. Sure, will do. And he, uh, he sort of brushes past you into his room. Right, oh, but, but, uh, but the, as, as you, as you turn to go, he says, have a good year ghost oh i i intend to cool. and i'll wave goodbye and then i gotta go unpack everything and repack it in a way that the parchment is nice and secure all right yeah you can you can slide it in there's plenty of there's plenty of space for it all right yeah and you are you are free to uh you're free to go 10 o'clock is approaching you you have a ticket to the way station um and you're good to go whenever <clears throat> Thank God, no escort this time. Yeah, no, no guards t are bringing you there. You're just, you're just released to the world. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna go sooner rather than later. <laughs> if I'm repacked and yeah, you you repack. How many bags do you have? Um, let's see. Well, there's the backpack that has Rip Rat's head sticking out of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I would say probably like two big, uh, like fancy leather duffels one on either side one like you can hear clanking as i walk with it because it's got all the swords in it <laughs> and then the other has all my clothes and then the the note as well all right cool 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 um you you make your way through sarduk um you make your way out of the nobles quarter um you do see people running around wearing um wearing raven rock uh t-shirts um very big very big uh um tournament coming up that they've qualified for um which is pretty exciting go, go birds. birds go birds um but uh you you find yourself to the way station very nice spot you present your ticket you are taken to a teleportation circle and you walk in um as the feeling of teleportation dissipates from your body you step out into the darkened way station room and into the connecting hall uh turn your head to the right and immediately see a familiar face una you at long last, make it through the teleportation circle. Loaded in your arms haphazardly are the gifts your parents and friend forced into them three seconds ago before you were pushed into the teleportation circle. Um, a large framed portrait of your family to remember your, si your, your new baby sibling by, according to your mom. A large rainbow seahorse plushie that Willow won bobbing for apples on Vastrin Day that she thought would be so funny to give you. Uh, and a foot-long sandwich Hogarth made for you. Um, the old wizard in the circle room goes, uh, uh, do, you, do you need help there, young lady? No, I've got it. All right. Well, well, enjoy your day. As, like, some salami comes out of the sandwich. <laughs> just falls on the ground. <clears throat> That's part. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you make your way out, um, and you see a familiar silver-eyed face step out, like, at the same time of the room next to you. Hello, Una. Hey, Have you started collecting? I, I, it, the it, I this is for you. <laughs> oh, you, you shouldn't have. It, it's it's partially from Willow as well. Oh, uh, she saw it and a... immediately thought of you, and it definitely suits you more than it suits me. Uh, I'll have to think of a, a new name on the on the walk over. How big is it compared to me? It's like it's like half an Una. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, yeah, give me a moment. I have to repack to make sure it's secure. <laughs> Just set my bags down. Yeah. Just in the middle of the way station. <laughs> yeah, you, so, you, you take a few minutes. Go, go for it. How are things? Uh, uh, good. Um, how was your summer? Oh, it was, uh, you know, as, as lovely as it could have been. I uh, spent a lot of time reading, researching. Same. Uh, 
I mean, what's one to do with all that free time anyways? I, I, I did, I think I told, I went to the archives with Elitha and oh my gosh, when there isn't a maniac on the loose, it's pretty awesome. I'm sure it's much easier to focus on your research when you aren't solving multiple crimes. Yeah. Oh, do you yeah. think the rest of them did much reading this summer? We know Tether was really oh, getting I mean, on well with books by the end there. Yeah, but Everett, you know, Everett must have. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, uh, I, I, I have a little sister. That's Ew. new as well. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. I, I, I realized, you know, I haven't actually been around babies. She's she's great, but I forgot what what a baby's. I didn't, I didn't know what a baby's like, and you can read all the books about babies, and they will still surprise you. Oh my goodness, will they surprise you? It's very good though. I'm, we I'm take glad. we take shifts, um, just because like because I'm kind of older and responsible, but um. Yeah, I take shifts with my parents. Well, I hope good. I hope they're okay when I leave. I mean, they seem perfectly capable from the time I spent with them. Oh, I mean, yeah. they, they raised you well enough. Ah. And I... <laughs> <laughs> no, it misses. It misses. <laughs> oh. would, would you like to try again, or...? No. Okay. <laughs> well, my bags are... Settled again. Also, she has a cup of coffee All right. in, a, in a travel mug. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and it's shaking. All right. Uh, cool. So you head out of the way station building. What are your passive perceptions? <laughs> Not as good as Una's. I know Una's is great, but... Um, 23. What is ask, passive ask perception? Me what my 10 is. plus your perception bonus. Okay. Um... Passive investigation is 24. <laughs> is I don't think passive thing? investigation is a thing, though. It's on Wizards of the Coast. Well, what does Wizards of the Coast know? <laughs> yeah, wait, I, I forgot that topical, the character sheet's topical. all messed up. It's, it's, I think it's 12. Okay, cool. Then, uh, Una, you see it coming, and Shandi doesn't. Um, it? Yes, as Shandi, you take a few steps out, and a large figure slams into you. Make a strength saving throw for me. Shandy? Yeah, Shandy. Una, you, know, you, you see it. You just, like, uh, wait for a step. second. Yeah, you just take a step. <laughs> Drink the saving throw. Um, sorry, I'm relearning how to use Foundry Just again. roll a dice. I, they're not on me. <laughs> also, I don't know if it, anybody, it happened to anybody else, but all Six. my proficiencies are gone. Yeah. So, uh... They're definitely stored. They just don't show up on that sheet. I have, I have, I have them written in a PDF, so I'm okay. just copying them over right. real quick. But sorry, there's, six. There's, there's six. Okay, you tumble to the ground immediately. Um, you fall yeah. and your bags go everywhere, and some of your things come out of the bags, and um, yeah, you you realize that a figure ran into you, and you see this figure begin to apologize profusely, and she's uh, she says, oh, oh, um. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. And starts to, like, help you pick things up. No, no it's, it's, it's all right. I, I didn't see you. Um, the figure is a young Fearbalg. She is easily three feet taller than Shandi and practically a giant to Una. Um, she has pale blue skin, large feathered ears, and long silver hair that mostly covers her bright green eyes. Her large nose and mouth are scrunched up into an expression of nervous discomfort, and her shoulders are hunched up towards her ears while she's, like, grabbing things and trying to talk to you. Um, she looks like she is wearing clothes picked out for her by someone else. Um, the somewhat stylish and lightly colored garb is probably the right size, but her obvious discomfort in wearing them makes them seem a few sizes too big. Most notably, though, across her chest are two bandoliers, both painted in rainbow stripes and containing a dozen strangely shaped daggers. I, 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 I'm, I'm really so sorry. I, uh, oh, I, sh I gotta look where I'm going sometimes. Uh... Oh, no, no, it's quite all right. I, again, my fault. I didn't, I didn't see you. Um, and another figure steps out from behind this fear bog and says, You're right, it is his fault. He wasn't looking where he was going either. Um, and you see another figure. This one, a, a raven-haired half-elven man of probably about 17. 
Um, he has long dark hair that's pulled up in a high ponytail by a frayed red ribbon, with the exception of two long straight bits that frame his sharp face. Um, as children of the Empire, you both would recognize that his attire, a long coat with various geometric patterns on it, is in keeping with like the street style of the, start, the of the capital and major cities. Um, this is a fashionable guy, though he does wear leather armor underneath. Um, his face, a mask of casual indifference, is marred by a thin scar from the left corner of his mouth to his jawline. Um, and judging by his thor thoroughly moisturized skin and styled look, this guy takes time to look good. Um, but it is nice of you to help him pick things up. And he bends down and begins uh, helping you pick things up as well. All right, well, repacking for the third time today. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm really so sorry. I, I, I just... Uh, um, no, no, no. There's something therapeutic about putting everything back in its place one more time. Oh, okay. Um, you're, wel you're welcome, then? Oh, uh... My name is Shandi, by the way. Oh! Is... Uh, uh, so how rude of me. Um, my, my... <laughs> my name is Rania. Um, nice to meet you. You as well. Um, the, the man, the half elven man hands you one of your bags. Uh, so yeah, that didn't take long at all. No, no, it didn't. Now, Rania, we have some things to get to, so maybe we should, uh, get going. We gotta head over to Oligarch Alchemy. She goes, oh, yes, um, n nice to meet you. I, I really apologize. No need, no need. No worries. Um, and uh, she turns and begins to go away, and the half-elven man flashes you a grin and says, next time watch where you're going. And then he throws your scroll that Rest gave you back to you. I try to catch it and look really cool doing it. Okay, you can you can make a, a dexterity check if you want. I would have let you catch it, but you yeah. had to look really cool doing it. So, ability check. Yeah, just a just the dexterity ability check. Eight. You <laughs> miss completely and it hits the ground, and he just goes, <laughs> "All right," and then turns and goes. Color hair did he have? Uh, raven colored hair. Okay. Bluish black. Real important. Hey, I wrote a whole description, so yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you, you listened. Um, okay, cool. After that strange encounter, uh, you guys want to make your way to, to Hagen, or you want to do some things in Kelshar first? Um, I, have, mm. I, have, I have no business in Kelshar, and I have to I, drop yeah. off all these bags. I would probably check into my job and just be like, hi, I'm back. Whenever you need me, let me know my schedule. Um, I have some ideas for how we can uh um Im improve productivity and uh so whenever you need me just send my schedule up to hagen and i'll be ready i like that guna drinks coffee now um yeah you 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 make your way towards gregor and grandas and gilligan is there and he's like oh yes welcome back i was informed that you would be returning soon it is a shame my parents left yesterday they almost got to meet you it, it's funny how Never mind. Okay, yes, I'll see you. Yes, it I... is. And, you know, in other circumstances, I would say probably suspicious, but it is really just a weird coincidence that they're never here when you are. Right. Do you, do you, have, a, do you have a picture of them? Oh, yes. Um, and he, oh, wrestles, he, he wrestles around behind the desk, and he pulls out a picture. Um, it's two of the most jacked people you've seen in your entire life. They're both humans, but they're both ripped they're like one of them's carrying a great axe the other one is carrying a great sword they're like bursting out of their fur clothes um the the man has a wild red beard and a shaved head um and the woman has a massive red ponytail that goes up and then down these are uh, gregor and Grando, my parents and the owners of your workplace they look like the typical merchant well, you know, Skimbrans. That's, right. that's what we I do. do. <laughs> I do know Skimbrans. You know one, at least. So. I, will, I know one. Um. Oh, wait. What was the name of the girl who had a crush on... Uh, Septon? Yeah, no, but she also had a Daphne. crush on Gret... What's his name? Daphne Ulane? Uh, Gill Gilligan is the name. Gilligan. Yeah. 
It's been a while. Don't worry. I know. No worries. Oh, <laughs> by the way, there's a there's a wiki now with all the characters on it, so you can check that out if you need. But am I am I confusing it with somebody else? Daphne said she had a crush on Gilligan. Daphne had a thing for redheads. But never mind. <laughs> Gilligan's a redhead. Oh, I thought she said Gilligan specifically though. She might have. I think she was just trying to get back at Septon at the time. Okay, then then what the hell? Um, <laughs> hey, did you had a whole summer? Yes. Did did Daph? There's this, there's this girl in town, Daphne. I oh, think she works uh, at like yes, a yes, at the Taylor's place. Yeah. He, she, he did, blushes a little bit. You know what? She seems like a nice girl. She she does she does. You her know and, what? Never mind. I'm gonna. Her and leave them. It. Shepton and the... Are not a thing at all. No, but her, Shepton, and the rich they, they, the rich guy, um, and your friend with the red hair, the girl, um, and the the little kid um, yes. who goes to your school, the small one. I don't yes. remember his name. Um, they have been around town quite a bit this, this summer. Oh. They've been hosting all sorts of youth events, and if I had more time off, oh. I would I would be going more, but... Yes, that uh, Isla. She is a she is a uh, a good community manager. I'm sure she is. <laughs> yeah, uh, Isla's a Isla's a good egg. I um yes. Well, I will. Uh, your your schedule is is yeah similar as last time. I will send it to the school. But thank you for checking in, and the good to thank see you, you as well, Shandy. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> He was like fiddling with something. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It, I am a soft-spoken man, I suppose. Um, enjoy your term. Yes. I hope I can be of service uh, in the future. I hope to be back to buy that sword in the future. Yes, I have been holding on to it. Um, it's the so. only time I've ever been effective in combat. <laughs> Not totally true. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and you guys heading to Hagen now? Or are you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. As you make for the southern gate um, and the road to Hagen, you look around, and Kelshar is mostly as you remember it, save for a few notable changes. Firstly, it's quite a bit busier than before. Kelshar is arguably the largest city in like the Denovan Valleys in the in the the south region where you are, but it's always sort of been a backwater in comparison to the Empire as a whole. Like Helvast is not a big town, but Kelshar didn't have that much more people in it than Helvast did. And Chandi, you grew you you live in the capital, the most the busiest place around. So it's always been kind of quiet here. Upon returning, though, it's more populated than ever, particularly in the business district and the cobbles. Um, there's merchants wheeling stands through the street, groups of adventurers sitting at cafes, trains of, heading, of people heading northward through the city with carts and horses. Kelshar is starting to feel like a lot more like a real city for some reason. And to that end, um, there are a lot of new shops now that seem to specialize in Magitech. Um, the practice that the Empire is known for hadn't really reached this far south yet for one reason or another, but it seems like the day has finally come for Kelshar to catch up with the rest of the nation. Uh, between Paddlers on Corners, a few brick and mortar locations, and some arcane foundry engineers making modifications to like the waterway subway ferries. Um, it's a weird piece of the Empire you didn't expect to see here on your return. Um, and lastly, the guard. Um, the Kelshar guard that you're used to, which you would know, because Turn worked for them for a minute, uh, was a private militia hired and supplied by the Lord of Kelshar, um, who invited you to a dinner that you didn't go to. Um, it's still here. No, it's a political statement. It was good. Uh, the Kelshar guard is still here, but you also notice that there are Platinum Claw soldiers like all over the place, which isn't odd for a town or a city in the Empire, like, the Guard and Helvast are Platinum Claw soldiers, primarily. Same with Duel. Same with, I mean, obviously, the, the capital. Um, but there's never really been a presence in Kelshar. But they're here now. Um, they seem to be acting in their duty as peacekeepers, as they do in all of those other places, rather than, like, a standing military. But again, it's kind of a strange sight to see in quiet, isolated Kelshar. Um, 
As you exit the city and begin the journey south, the scene becomes familiar once again, though. As the sun gleams down on this beautiful summer day, you pass the farmers working in their fields, some travelers headed north, and the massive tree that marks the halfway point to Hagen. A pair of children are playing on the swing hung from its branches, and their laughter floats on the wind, carrying you forward to your destination. Septon, Everett, and Tether. What would you be up to right now? You're all on you're all on campus. It's is, it's sun move? it's Sunday before the the Monday that marks the beginning of the term, yes. It's move in day. It's move in day. We're moving all our stuff from the old to the new, aren't we? Um, you could do that now or you could wait for your friends. It's your call. <laughs> There's no rush. I feel like, I feel like Septon is is has done is working on it before our other people get here. Cool, cool, cool. At least with his own stuff. His, you know, two bags of things he owns. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, I mean, you were here. You saw the construction on campus this year. Um, Didn't we, like, suggest things? You did. Yes, you did. <laughs> and somebody might have financed some changes that are a little wild, but we'll get to that. Um, you know that two, in addition to the one that you're moving out of today, um, which will be demolished and remade to in the in the the image of the one that you're moving the other ones there are going to be three dorms uh, now um, rather than a small little square building these ones are they're bigger um, and it's like two wings on either side of a central entryway base area so it's sort of like a you know what I can show you pull up the map yeah I can show you. That's what it's for. Ha ha! Look at that! Ooh. So, it is this shape. Uh, and then there's a second floor also. Um, play the Sims cool. music. <laughs> yeah. um, so, some things to note that are different about yours, though, is that um, y there's a moat. <laughs> um, this, is, this is yours, by the way. There is a moat. Um... The bridge oh, slide. <laughs> we'll get Wait. to it. Um, <laughs> we'll get to it. Um, there's a moat. The crossing the moat is just like a plank. It's it, all it is is like a simple wooden, like a wide where, wooden plank. Where is the moat? The moat is in front of the house. Um, if you click on Hagen Estate, you can see a full layout. Of, Are you uh, telling me the moat does not go all the way around? It goes all the way around. Yeah. Uh, click okay, on okay, click okay. on Hagen Estate. You'll see where the moat is in relation okay. to your house. So yours is the south south house. Um, also, there are a bunch of trees planted in, like, the alleyway entryway leading into your uh, house. And between those trees, there are beautifully crafted, beautifully carved bridges and little, like, structures. It, you, Loth, it looks like Lothlorien, but tiny and in the trees. Um, and as you oh. walk under it, you see a bunch of squirrels running back and forth. Um... You also see a greenhouse to one side with six uh, ready-to-use flower beds, and also a little stone area with a raised um, octagonal pavilion over it, inside of which there is a forge, an anvil, a leather working station, plenty of room for any sort of crafting that you might want to do. Um, inside, there is a pre-furnished kitchen, uh, as per Septon's request. And there is only one bathroom, but there are two sinks. So, um, And then on the second floor, there are eight rooms, but one of them, the window has been replaced with a slide that leads <laughs> into the lake behind. Um, also, there's back deck, just like there was um, on your old place. Um, so, like, the lake is here, but I just... The second floor is there, so you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so that is what you see. So, Septon, you are moving in. Everett and Tether, are you doing that as well, or what's the plan? Absolutely not. Everett's not doing anything of the sort. Okay, what's Everett doing? Um, Everett is enjoying the slide. <laughs> um, <laughs> just sort of, like, taking it and then going back up and taking it again. And then he's probably hanging out with his new friend um and or like seeing what they're up to or like trying to schedule plans with them or you know whatever they're available to do all right that's what he wants to do well septon is on campus one of your new friends um isla's gone she's she's going with her her parents um on a on an expedition are you looking at me like that's not right 
No, no, that can be right. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> Where's Isla, Michael? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, I... I would... I, I um I was gonna say tether was if the living room is um not um populated she's putting down an envelope that said to that says to the bright futures initiative and inside was gonna be an invitation to an end of summer blowout okay well then but we don't no that's but that Isla is can be gone that is true now I let you can't okay. find Isla um Maeve told you that she was busy today. Daphne is working, and the rest of them go to Felfrit, and their classes are, they're, like, in classes. Um, although, Arleth is, Arleth is um, playing at a blast ball game in the afternoon, if you want to watch that. For Everett? Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think Everett's probably gonna go watch the blast ball game, and see if Maeve wants to go with him, if she's around. May um, May Maeve let you guys know that she was she had something coming up this weekend, so she was gonna be hard harder to reach. Okay, he's not pleased. Um, but he's that, probably... I mean their their school term started like a couple weeks before yours, so like they've been less and less free of these last couple of weeks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, I mean, I mean, like, like whatever it wants to do, I'll tell you whatever it wants to do. What he's gonna do is go to the blast plug game. What he wants to do is like. Go find like a tall bridge that he can like jump off of and like you know do like pipe weed next to with his new friends. Like that's what he's about. He's like <laughs> he's like I just want to like hang out like by the river with my new pals who I think are cool. This this fourteen year old <laughs> found the cool older kids and now he just wants to hang with them all the that's time. His whole, that's his whole identity. Now. Yeah, this is a dark fucking era forever. <laughs> I mean, one of your friends, Septon, is is on campus and he's moving in and getting ready. No, he's bored of Septon. He's gonna hang out with Arleth. He's gonna go watch the blast right, ball game. Yeah, you watch the blast ball game. Uh, you go to the blast ball game. It is a field you've never been to, um, and you've never lost on. Um, but you see the blazing bullets, the uh, the Felfrit College's blast ball team. Um, they dominate. They demolish their competition. And they cheat. They don't cheat this time. They had to cheat for us. In fact, you hear a lot of people in the crowd who were coming rooting for the other, like students at Felfrit were rooting against the Blazing Bullets because they're like, these guys, these fuckers always cheat and they've got their magic items from Arleth's dad. But this time, like, no, they've been they've been practicing this summer and it shows. Like, they, they take down... Um, the the Glyphstadt University's um sorry the Glyphstadt Academy's team um the Rune Knights I'm gonna have to make a um, fucking blast ball see. league I, I didn't I, I didn't I didn't realize it would factor in so much already but I'm gonna have to like really make a blast ball league aren't I <laughs> uh yeah Everett's Everett's really pumped that Arleth won and he's gonna go greet him after the game yeah you catch him after he's he's like shaking hands and like chest bumping with a lizard folk um woman um, who's on his team um and she she heads out and he turns around and he goes oh uh everett how's it going did you hey. did you did you enjoy the game congratulations man thank you uh, thank you and <laughs> yeah no sorry I, I don't know if you know you here but i lost the whole thing over the summer so <laughs> I know yes. that happened. No, but... I, I, I remember the day that that changed. Um, uh, both yeah. of our voices are changing this summer, it seems. I'm starting to get mine back, which is good. But... Yeah, no, that's good. Congratulations. I'm, I'm happy for you. Um, you... You're, really, you're, really, you're really a star out there. Well, I am the captain of the team, so I do my best. <laughs> You guys, you guys, uh, you know, I heard you used to play dirty, but you don't know. Well, no, uh, who told? <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, we didn't play dirty. I think that uh, my personal friends have some uh, significant experience. With right, that, but, but they're uh, a little biased good. when it comes to me, are they not, Everett? No, no, that's that's fair. That's fair, I guess. <laughs> uh, Regardless, well, I'd uh... I'd love to rematch them, so we could oh, great. I'll, prove I'll that we're better you. once and for all. Since I'll there seems to be you. some doubt. Yeah, no, I'll ask him. But uh, anyway, um, I mean, I know that you're you... busy here, but you're you're always welcome on campus. I mean, off campus if you want to come. 
Ah, uh, well, no, we, I, I... We've been having such a good time this summer, I, I just don't want it to, you know, just end just because we got to go back to school. His face, his face, like, softens a little. He's like, well, I mean, we're not going to stop being acquaintances, Everett. Acquaintances? This All is, right. this All is, right. no, yeah, no, I mean, no, 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 this is, this is our lip. He was, he would never refer to any of these people as his friend. I know, but, but, but Everett just kind of likes, he's like, acquaintances. All right, I guess. Well, I did, that's a good thing. That's I mean, hilarious. we're not strangers or enemies. Yeah, or maybe, maybe for you, pal. Uh, but <laughs> hey, congratulations. But he sort of like gives him like a little like wink and then he, yeah, I... and he walks away. Everett, do you want to get lunch or something? Yeah, sure. Come on by my campus so you can see your friends. Okay. Well, sure. All right. I I'll go take a shower and I'll I guess I'll come. Okay. Yeah. Go stop smelling so weird. See you later. Yep. <laughs> any 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 sort of ways. Everett goodbye. puberty arc. <laughs> Everett puberty arc. It's happening. <laughs> Um, all right, Tether, what are you doing right now? I know you, well, you, you did the, the letter thing, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's, let me just say, if, if that letter is ever open, it's, it's a classy-looking letter. There's no glitter. It's, you know, you know. I believe um, it. And it's... that was also sent out to the usual suspects, all the people who matter, you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Um, but, um, she When's the summer do... bash? What? When yeah. is the bash? What day? Um... You can. It, there's it, a calendar. There's there's a calendar, by the way, if you wanna. Um, the cal. It, it's. It, it, the calendar is in the same like uh yeah. bookmark tab at the bottom, but it's the bottom tab simple calendar, and you can see important dates. It's the twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. All right. A week from the time. last. The, yeah, the last week weekend of the of of summer. All right. That is, I believe, the day after Mrs. Lee's homecoming dance. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Not to not to overshadow Mrs. Lee, but I like could I sure throw a party. No, I love it. That's great. Yeah, you can yeah, yeah. you can add that to the calendar, I believe. So why don't you you do that? Oh, when I yes. will. When you we can it. add notes to the calendar. I just tested. Yeah, you've always been able to. I didn't know there was a calendar. There's always been a calendar. Phoenix, There's always been a calendar. Phoenix used to put notes in the calendar a lot before he died in real life. Who? Oh, I, so you wouldn't know him. Uh, he's this guy we used to play D&D &D with. Um, oh. We used to, as though he's not coming back to this campaign. <laughs> fucked up. This is a fucked up bit. Anyway, what are you what doing now, bit? Heather? Um, well, she does her usual routine, Sunday routine of, like, does all of her Awuna training in the morning. Yeah. Um, because if she doesn't do it in the morning, then Awuna gets all crazy mm -hmm. um, in, by the afternoon. And then, of course, she has to, like, go up in the trees for a bit to, like, talk. There's a new group coming, so she has to make a new help with a new treaty with the Acorn Gang and the Cashew Collective. And that takes a while. Yeah. They're you not. Know, they it's, it's, it's the Acorn Gang. We all know what they're like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right. Well, while the two of you are doing all this um moving in doing your 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 whatnot um everett does arrive back in campus and not too long after him you do hear a commotion at the gate so do with that what you will oh, i'm it, septon's goal was to like move in before people got back you're 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 not you don't finish um you are you're probably like two-thirds of the way done when you hear the gate opening take a break go see what's going on all right you head to the gate everett are you joining you just came in through the gate but it's opening again are you returning to check it out or i can't hear you tommy i'm muted If there is something abnormal happening yeah, yeah. Uh, in that area, then I'm absolutely going to go and take a peek. All right. And Tether, you have finished your negotiations. Oh, oh they, they, did they go well? Yeah, they went well. Okay, cool. Sure. So um, <laughs> Tether probably wouldn't is pretty probably wouldn't notice until Septon leaves, mm -hmm. and then she'll, like, join him and go. Cool. All right. You head to the gate, and you see two figures entering. 
not your friends. Uh, they are, uh, these two figures are though, ha I tricked you, loaded down by quite a bit of luggage. The leading figure is a human woman, probably around 16. Um, she stands with like perfect upright posture, reminiscent of like a noble woman, but her face tells a bit of a different story. Um, her mouth is wrung into an expression of great effort and her brow is furrowed. Her chai boned cheeks are bridged by a galaxy of freckles that are too scrunched up towards her petite nose an expression of exertion. She has golden eyes and tan skin with strawberry blonde hair that seems to suggest Solosian or Caroleone and nobility, but the styling of the hair cut to the shorter and worn in the utilitarian fashion of a knight once again complicates that picture. She wears a sturdy tunic with tra and trousers in blue and silver, with a pendant swinging loosely at her neck with a coat of arms inscribed in it. A sword-wielding angel cutting through a blue wave. Um, she has slung across her back a set of well-polished knightly armor, a saddle in one hand, and a large weaponry case in the other. Not like Shandy duffel bag size, but like, like huge. Um, she is clearly struggling to carry all of it while preventing some of it from dragging on the dirt of the path. The man be behind her, carrying four bags himself, is sticking close, carefully watching her, and every now and again requesting to take some of her load. He's an aged half-elf, probably in his late 60s, with thinning white hair and a bushy, bushy mustache. He is dressed in an immaculate uh, black suit and wearing white gloves. His bushy eyebrows make it hard to see his eyes, and just looking at his face, you would assume him to be rather frail, but his musculature threatens to rip his suit at every step. This guy is jacked. Um, and they come on in, and she, she looks up at the three of you. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello. Um, are you... Do you work here? No, we're students. You? Oh, yes. I am... I am enrolling. Tomorrow will be one of my first days on campus. You want a hand? Hey, welcome. I'm <laughs> Septon. I'd shake your hand, but they're full. Yes, yes. Septon and Everett, and... And, and, and you are? Hi, I'm Tether. Tether, um, I, I'm Cynthia Helminster. Just Cynthia Helminster. Um, I am looking forward to a productive year with all of you. Um, you all seem quite strong, <laughs> which is good. Tether, Tether Thank whispers you. to um, Septon. I thought it was the others. It's just new people. I don't want to talk to new people. Can you talk to the new people? And hey, you I need a hand? Without saying anything, can you let? Can you make it not weird? Septon just nods. Uh, as you say, do you, do you need a hand? She says, I'm quite all right, thank you very much. A little indignantly. Here, how about how about this? Not a hand. And uh, uh, Everett's going to cast Tensor's Floating Disc. And just, like, leave it there. She's like, anything you want, you just let me know. I'm, just drop it on there. You see sweat is starting to, like, pour down her face. I am, I'm quite all right. Um, and the man behind her goes, don't mind if I do. And puts his bags uh, down <laughs> on it. Um, and says, Lady Helminster, you, it would be wise to accept the help of your upperclassmen. She goes, I, uh, a knight who does not need the extra help, thank you very much. Bye. And tells her gonna... turns around and leaves. Huh? What did I offend her? I apologize. Uh, I that's, no, don't that's do tether. not worry. Just just tether, don't worry, about Tether. Oh. Let me tell you, Cynthia, Cynthia, you're gonna get along great with my buddy Sean D. You two, you got also. He's oh, you two are gonna get along great. What me... is, is he also a knight? Uh, sort of, sort of. Uh, uh, well, you can't sort of be a knight. You either are or you aren't. A soldier no, see, of a noble house. Or he some has. Sort. He, uh, what what Septon means to say is that he has manners and that we don't. And so <laughs> when you meet the guy with manners, you're gonna get along with him. I well, I I um. Can we can we be walking towards her dorm? Yeah, as that's this that, that's fine. And she's she's yeah. it's very slow. She's walking slowly. It's um. And We're and, and her and her, and her yeah, and her servant is like trying to like grab something, but she keeps like shifting it away. And she's like, I uh. One of the things I do wish to learn here, um, at the at this this program is how to how to interact with common folk. So please do not worry about your manners. I am attempting to learn a different way of life. Oh, yeah. and then it laughs out loud at this comment. Sorry, sorry. Was that I, no, I, that so wasn't a joke? I I. I 
Cynthia, you're gonna you're gonna fit in so well here. I'm so you're excited. You're gonna do just fine. Right. You're, too, you're gonna do just fine. Where'd you say you were from? Well, and her face darkens a little bit. Um, and the man behind her says, "We hail originally from Carleone." I see. I'm from the Feywild myself, so. Oh, it's not up, Lady Hellman, sir. How, how rare a companion to have in your schooling days. And she goes, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, I, do, don't call me that. <laughs> don't call me that, Mr. Beldine. That is not my name anymore. And he goes, yeah, as you wish. Um, and you reach. Uh, Everett's gonna. Everett's gonna make a mental note that. Um, Observe my. She, hey, at least Tommy. for a significant portion of her life, has been called Lady Hellman. You can make a history check. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because you know everything. <laughs> Remember. Um. Yeah, because I know everything. Roll a d20. Um. Roll. So that's a nine plus my history, which is proficient. So that's a seventeen. <laughs> oh Jesus! Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, the Helminster name is one you recognize. Um, the Helminster Helminster belongs to a Carleonian viscount whose province once sat along what is now the Crisprine Coast. Okay. Centuries ago. Um, much like most of the nobility of Carleone, though, the Helminsters abandoned that territory when the Lion Knights were created during the War of Zymor. Um, though they were still considered Viscounts, despite living in one of the major city centers of the country. Well, the last thing you've heard about the Helminsters was that, that they moved into one of the city centers. Um, Wait, so they like were basically... They they're like Viscounts. Had domin- they had dominion over a bunch of rural folks and then they just like abandoned that to go to the city so and then... actually i mean you would know about this uh, Ren- uh carleone used to be like a feudal system um with the king and then he had all of his vassals and they ruled and protected their lands um and paid taxes up to him so on and so forth and like a, a feudal system yeah back in the, the age of unity during the war of zymor which created the zymor empire actually when um a cult a dragon cult was trying to summon tiamat sort of successfully um Everybody, yeah, there's a, there's a, t- that's, that's Zymorian history. That's why your country exists right now. But, um, but you, uh, you know that the Lion Knights, the current army of, of Caroleone was formed at that time. And they were this incredible fighting force. But when the war ended, they became the, um, the guards of Caroleone. And they all report not to the lords, but to the king. So the lords were like, well, we don't have to protect the lands anymore. The king does it, so we're just gonna go fuck off to the city and have fun. Um, there's still a few feudal lords who who like have territories in in Carleone, particularly like in the the center of the the, the continent. Um, but most Carleone nobles just like live in major city centers, and their their protectorates are now kind of lawless wastelands. Carleone has been on the decline for for like a century now. Right, so there's a, there's a period of time basically where like the federal like the like the central government was so powerful that the, like the local governments didn't and do I mean anything. I mean and, and, it, and it still is that way yeah basically yeah, and then like, the, yeah okay cool so then like the, the the local nobles were just like fuck it we don't have to actually we don't have jobs yeah. we're just gonna like but we're still nobles so cool. whatever and now we're gonna live in the city cool where it's and easier. she's she's one of her her family is one of those families that um, moved into the cities but I mean this was like hundred hundreds of years ago what city point, so. what did, city did she move, did her family move into we're thank what i know with the 17 we're thank yeah we're thank it's the the central the center of commerce in carleone the biggest one of the biggest cities in carleone with the exception of the capital um, what's it like in we're thank we're thanks uh uh i didn't i don't believe i said i was from there yeah well you don't have to say so hell with a name like hellminster Ah, you are familiar with my family, then. I'm not trying to make you feel uncomfortable. I'm just no, saying, it's, you know, it's we, all you know, right. You're, then, you're, then you're well yeah. aware of the the embarrassment we have suffered as of late, and why I'm here, then. Am I? No. <laughs> your your most recent recollection is like a hundred years ago. <laughs> I look at her. I'm like, uh, I mean, that's news to me, but uh, I'd happily, you know, oh, uh, um, well, listen if I, you want to tell. It's no, it's nothing. Um. I don't mean to make you recall uncomfortable memories right off the top here. Why don't we just get to know each other a little bit and you can tell all that you wish to tell in due time. Does that sound, does that sound comfortable? 
very well. Um, I All have right. not lived in Warthank for a number of years. Um, to answer well, your question, I don't really remember what it's like. Well, your pal here is more than more than uh, more than happy to throw his bags on top of this disc here. So, if you would like to relieve yourself as well, I I I I, I will not I will not count you as weak if I, you choose to. A knight would never. And then she she All continues. Right. At this point, I you've you've like you've like reached the entrance, um, and the 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 older man opens the door. And she says, "Well, it was a pleasure meeting. Are there others, or is it just the three of you?" Well, there's um. I heard uh, there were six. There's others. The, yeah, well, there's there's a few of us, more of us arriving today. There's Tether who you met, and then uh, Kar Karak is around somewhere, but he he don't he don't talk much. Right. Um, Septon's met him, right? He knows yeah, his name. Yeah, you briefly yeah. met him and you learned his name. You're correct. He well, uh he doesn't talk much. Uh, black hair, big sword, black arm. Can't miss him. Okay. Um, well, horns. Good. You know, great, uh, sure he's nice, uh, quiet guy. Um, yeah. Well, well hey. If you need anything, we're over in that house. Come knock. How did you get uh, a moat? What? How did you get a moat? Upperclassman privilege. Oh. Connections. Very well. Um. Well, it was good meeting you, Septon, Everett, and oh. Tether. She's of not course. here, but please extend my courtesy to her. Of course. And Cynthia. Can I, can I call you Cynthia? Please. That is my name. Okay. I am no longer Lady Helminster. <laughs> Cynthia, listen. <laughs> Don't worry about something going on in your past that's all of us here that's kind of what this place is you'll fit you'll fit in no problem all right thank you i i appreciate it um and she heads in um and her uh she her, as 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 she walks away ever goes as you were lady and then just gives her a little she turns nod. around she's like blushing a little bit and she's like <laughs> um and then just keeps going um, After she closes the door so I'm just gonna go ever day one cool it <laughs> <laughs> so her her, her her manservant is still there, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, I figured you'd do it anyway, but just continue. Does he react? No. No. Uh, every 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 test is up, and he's like, "Look, you know, I mean, I just want to make the girl comfortable. You know, if she's been called lady her whole life, it's probably, you know, against her nature to to run around, you know, asking me to call her Cynthia. So I'm just, you know." I thoroughly I'm agree, young person. man. I thoroughly agree. Um, my name is Mr. <laughs> Beldeen. I have rented a room in Kelshaw nearby, uh, and I leave the lady in your care. Please do let me know if, if she needs anything. Where'd you rent the room? Oh, the, uh, ooh, what was it called? Um, like, it's a, the Green Rock, I believe. Ah, uh, the Emerald Rock. Ah. You gotta try the, you gotta try the, uh, the, 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 the food there's great. I worked there. I'll probably see you around. Oh, great to know. Then I'll have a, a direct connection to the lady. Uh, to the to the lady. She has told me not to come near the campus. Um, but she's a little needy. So, and you hear from the upstairs window, Mister Mister Beldine. Um, I uh, please. And she goes, Oh, I suppose I am needed. Well, it was good meeting you. Um, and he opens. Except it'll, 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 it'll really quietly lean over and be like, We'll take care of her. I appreciate that, young master. Um, he opens the door and he heads on inside. Um, and as soon as he does, the gates open again. The front gates. Two more figures. Captain's running back. <laughs> this time, you're good friends. Shandi and Una enter through the gate. And you see Septon running back, Everett, like, walking back, I assume. Um, Tether, the gate has opened again. I don't know what you're, you're doing. Um... Tether will, um, she'll, like, run, she'll, like, walk over being, like, ugh, more people, and then she'll see who it is, and then, what would it be? Has she <coughs> haven't seen an elephant. Um, she would be, what's something big and cut? Can I be a, a can I be a giant um constrictor snake? <laughs> yes, big and cuddly, a giant constrictor snake. Yeah, you can turn cool. into a giant constrictor snake. Yeah, a decaying green fungal <laughs> giant will, constrictor snake. I will bring snake. up my backup character. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Una dies. <laughs> day one day one death. Wait, who gets to the gate first? 
Um, well, oh. Una's got a walking speed of 35 feet now, so I don't know. I'm probably Una. That is also Shandi's. No, no, no. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> at the same time. No, I mean of the people going towards the gate. Uh. The two, the, uh, the Septon and Everett get there first, but then you see, you see Tether walking up and then turn into a giant snake as soon as she sees uh, Una and Shandi start to enter. Well, Septon, Septon's already going to hug Shandi. Who? No. Oh, oh you're back. back. Yes. Oh, uh, it's good to see you guys. I'm probably about to go for a hug on Uno when a snake, <laughs> snake <laughs> slithers right past. Is it the signature tether green, I'm assuming? Oh, it's tether green, okay. also kind of decaying and fungal. Love it. Love yeah. it. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hello, tether. <laughs> A little tight squeeze, and then go to Shandi. Oh, there we go. Too. <laughs> Here we go. It's no, not, it's not like, comfortable, but it's brief. Uno, Uno, while recovering from her nausea, is hugged and picked up by Septon. <laughs> <laughs> At the head. And put back down. Okay, I'll, I'll, <sighs> I'll transfer him back. Hi. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. So good to see you guys. How's how's the like? Clear, it clearly looks like there's new construction. Yes, oh, yeah. Right. There's there's there's. How's the how's the place? How's everything? You're gonna love how's it. okay? It's wonderful. Um, and I'll just let you know because we are roommates, and like all roommates, what's yours is mine. I didn't even go into our room. Our <laughs> room. <laughs> Yeah, and also because no one's been living in it, there's been a very interesting colony of Stachybotrys charterum growing in there. Um, in Septon's head, I'm just gonna say, I, I thought we were getting our own rooms, and and you can respond. We, we are. <laughs> You're gonna have to break that news. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Meanwhile, what otherwise known as black mold, um, mm -hmm. you know, it makes sense because it's black. Wait, 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 how did you grow black mold in a brand new building? Oh, oh, Tether was talking about her old room because we've been staying in the old place. That's true, you haven't moved, moved yet. Constructed. Yeah, but she didn't stay in her their shared room because it's a shared room, it's not her room. <laughs> um... Uh at you, this point, wait, 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 in, in Septon's head, I want to, I want to die, I want to die, I want to die, <laughs> take me now, take me now. <laughs> um, at this point, Everett will misty step, uh, onto the giant constrictor stake. Not a snake anymore. Uh, I turned no. out, I turned, I'm sorry. Okay, then Everett will misty step onto Tether's shoulders, and, and, like, and just do minor illusions, some, like, cheers, like, and, like, welcome sounds. Do you, you uh, yeah, from, you, like an imaginary crowd. You feel some pressure on your shoulders, but he doesn't weigh like anything, so it doesn't okay, knock you over. Cool. He's a ghost. Okay. <laughs> I, and... I was worried with my negative strength modifier. No, he uh, he, he weighs nothing. Okay, cool. He uh, looks at he looks at the two of me. He goes, "Hey, welcome back." Woo! Sorry, I wasn't as fast as Septon, but I wanted to welcome you. So, welcome back. <laughs> it's good to be back. Yeah. Um, oh, you go. oh, do you, do you guys want a tour of the new place, or yeah. do you want to, or Una, I, do you want to separate need, our assets? I do need to put down my stuff, though. So also, Septon, you can have the rest of this sandwich. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> or any anyone can really. <laughs> it was like a human sized sandwich. Yeah, sure. it, was, it was massive. And yeah, then, <laughs> this is a hogarth special. Had like a... It's yes, the hoagie it hoagie. Is. The hoagie <laughs> hoagie. <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, as you're headed that way, you do see, um, the two of you who are, who, are, who are newly back, the new buildings aren't the only change. Um, the, the training arena is significantly larger now. It's been expanded. Um, and there seems to be some construction going on in there as well. Um, and also the guards, whereas before they wore just like unadorned armor, they now have purple tabards with the symbol of the Bright Futures Initiative woven into them. So they've gotten a little bit of a of an upgrade as well. I like the color. Altogether, the place looks 
like a real school now. Um, it, it looks as though it's no longer just a, a cheap ploy uh, to make powerful vessels. Like, a lot of time, money, and effort has gone into making this place, like, an official learning environment. Um, there's been benches installed all over the place, along the paths. There's, like, all sorts of just little quality of life changes that have been made. Um, there's a little fishing station next to the lake. Um, yeah. But you make your way to your dorm room. Um, yeah, inside there's a ton of empty space. Um, so yeah, you, you make your way on in. You make your way into this beautiful, beautiful place. Yeah, so we, um, they, they decided on the design, but then me and Septon and, um, Everett, um, we added the moat and we added the trees and with, um, um, we brokered a new deal with the, um, Acorn Gang. It's now the Acorn Coalition. And okay. um, there's a greenhouse. There's a forgery thing. No, no, sometimes. forge. A forge. Forgery oh. is different. A forge. Um, a Wuna's enclosure is round back. Um, and as you say a Wuna's enclosure, you hear... And you see the mud wolf, like, twice the size she was last time you saw her. <laughs> Run up. <laughs> and she jumps immediately on Everett. <laughs> It starts looking oh, at him. Everett, Everett, <laughs> Everett, like, like, as she sees him coming, just like, or as he sees her coming, just like, misty sets the fuck <laughs> out of there. She's like, I am not getting jumped on by this fucking hell. Heather, <laughs> Heather holds up a a, 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 a big thing of granite. Sit. Make an animal handling check. Come on, baby. Um, I need to go to D and D Beyond to see what my animal handling is. Construct handling check. Oh, a nine. Total? Yeah, uh, it's a four plus five. All right, so you say sit, and she jumps up and tries to bite the granite out of your hand. Ha! And she's just like up no. on top of you. And then she like melts into you like mud wolves do, so there's just mud all over you, and then her head appears on your shoulder and starts licking your face. Training is going well. Um, yeah, it's going well, if a little slow, and then I'll just throw the granite, um, like... And she, poof, and she bursts off of your body and runs after it, and just jumps on it and starts rolling around with it. To be fair... Walking, wa so walking fair. back from 30 feet away, Everett walks over to Heather and is like, That thing is not what you think it is, and I know you think you know what it is, but it ain't. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, did anyone hear a light breeze? Upstairs <laughs> are the rooms, and... We're all gonna die. <laughs> I think we can take on one mud wolf. Yeah. I said upstairs are the rooms. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, I mean downstairs okay. you you have your furnished kitchen, your your bathroom, two completely empty areas. These are bay windows with a little couch on them. Um, these guys at the at the base here. Um, okay, cool. So there's like a little sun seat. Um, and um in in Septon's head, can I quickly be like, are Tether and Everett okay, or is it just a dispute over the over a Wuna? <laughs> well, Tether really it's... hasn't been around all summer. Haven't seen Tether much this summer. Everett's entering a bad boy phase, <laughs> <Got> <laughs> and it is a dispute over a Wuna. <laughs> Got it. Okay, Peter, Tommy, what rooms did you guys pick out? I, uh, I, um, I don't know, bottom left. Okay. Do we need to, do we need to mark these? Yes. Like this one? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I forget how to ping. I also yeah. forget how to ping. Don't you just hold it, hold the button down? No, oh, you're probably right. It's different. New text. Oh. Shut up. Septon room. Septon room. <laughs> Septon. That's the septon room. The septon room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, mm -hmm. I'm gonna be editing this image based off of what you want to be here. But for now, it's gonna be. Uh, I hope you, I hope you, you listeners love um, the Sims because that's what the rest of this stream is gonna be. <laughs> no, septon can wake up in the morning, sprint across the house, and go out the window down the slide. <laughs> Yeah. No stops. <laughs> yeah, each each room has a bed and a desk. That's all. 
Each room also has a window, um, but there's no, there's nothing else in there. Um, bed and a desk, but you, there's a little note from Mrs. Lee that says you can request what you would like in your uh, in your room as well. Who's and moving a square to... around? Sorry, I'm trying to write in the square. I don't know. <laughs> how I, to let do me it, let me do it. Let me do it. What about I think Everett, Everett probably picks this this room. Uh, how do I, uh, I click it. this? Yeah, there. It is. Everett picks that room because Everett is going through a period of time in his life where he wants to know what his friends are doing, and he wants to be a part of it. So he's going to be next to the slide. Okay. Because that feels like a thing that would be fun to know when people are going down. All right. Um, Gonna get woken up every morning by Septon charging no. past his room. <laughs> So as we're going up the stairs, Tether's going to be like, okay, um, Septon is, uh, pick that room, and Everett, pick that room. Um, in this room, it's not a room. We put a, sl a slide, a slide into the river. Um, I think there's still monsters in the, in the, in the lake. Into the, into the water. Yeah. yeah. But okay. it's fun. There's we also, there's also a switch that if you press it, water starts pouring down and lubricating the slide. So, it's magic. Okay. Okay, so this isn't a like in every morning get out exit because then you would have to come back in and dry off. I mean, unless I mean, unless unless you like me embrace the philosophy of like no days off, in which case <laughs> when you want to go out there and swim, you can go do that. Got it. Ever, can, you even, <laughs> can you even <laughs> puberty ever? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I don't. Uh, that's insensitive. I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, I um they um I didn't pick a room yet because um I thought it'd be unfair if we all picked rooms for the for for the people who didn't live here yet picked rooms. Also, I um wanted to know which room you were being in Una because I wanted to know which size door you wanted connecting us. Uh -huh. Oh, really? just turns and looks at Una. <laughs> Eyebrows way up. <laughs> I because really... on this side, on this side, you have a great view of the lake. But on this side, you have a great view of our thriving squirrel community. And can I can I make an insight check, please? On, on Una. Sure. Great. Um, I'm there, going the to. Did anything? <laughs> can I make it? Uh, great. I'm gonna make an insight check. Roll d20. Roll. Four, great, sick, awesome, love that. Four plus my wisdom, which is four. It's Una. Yeah. It's Una. Also, Tommy, great. um, you can get rid of your mouse cursor by going down to the players tab and clicking on the little hand. I feel as if I've been reprimanded. Where's the players tab? Why would you ever bottom, want to get rid of your left. mouse cursor? Bottom left. Get rid of your mouse cursor, Septon. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> I truly don't have a, a player. Bottom, oh, bottom left, third. it just says everybody's name. Does it not? Bottom this left of your so foundry screen. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> it's not complicated. That it's is ridiculous. That that toggle is not in settings, but it's in its it own is, little it is tiny also, baby menu. It is it's also in settings. settings. <laughs> they all have it set permanently. You don't. <laughs> all right. Well, whatever. <laughs> Um, um Tether, fair Tether's also just gonna say, um, uh, after she says, um, which size door Uno wants connecting their rooms, uh, Tether's gonna say, Shandi, I didn't consider you for that because I figured you wouldn't want it. Well, um, it's nice to hear you were keeping my thoughts in mind. Unless you want a door connecting us, because even if we're not connected, I could do, like, a no, tunnel. No, no, um, uh, I think a standalone room will work perfectly for me. You should use okay. the gloves of the porter. No matter where you are, you've got a door. Oh, there you go. <laughs> would It would be nice to maybe sometimes close the door, though. Well, I can make simple hinges. Plus, great. <laughs> <laughs> but no complex locking mechanisms. Okay. <laughs> Um, Everett, possessing apparently no skills of insight whatsoever, is gonna look like look around the group and be like, "Well, on this side of 
of the room, we're going to have like fun, like game games all the time. So just saying. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to news to me. I'm going to turn. <laughs> I'm going to go to Tether and just be like, it's really up to you. I would kind of prefer a view of the lake, but I know you want to look at Acorn Coalition. No, that's okay. Oh. If we get a view of the lake, also, um, the coalition is expanding every day, so Got probably it. later later on, the trees will be surrounding us. Uh, you also know, those the three of you that have been here this summer, this is going to be your dorm till the end of the program. Like, this is yours till you graduate. Okay, do you want closer to the stairs or farther from the stairs? <laughs> closer? Okay, I wanted far farther. Great. Okay. <laughs> Okay, do you um, want, like, a design on the door? Um, I don't, I, I don't know yet. I mean, you could have your own design on your side, and I could have my own design on my side, you know? That's why I waited. Mm-hmm. That's why I waited. Mm hmm Okay. Well, in the spirit of boys' room, I suppose it would only make sense if I took the room next to Septon. All right. We've got a boys' wing now. That's true. Mm -hmm. um, the other two rooms are free. You should probably leave one open for turn, um, but the other one is free to do with what Ew. you will. Turn! Wait, what about Eli Elias? Elias is an underclassman. He... Oh, that's right. He was he here, was... but he never attended class. Yes, he lives in a different dorm. Oh, we have to be his cool upperclassmen friends. Oh yeah, super cool. All right, he's the, um, one, upper, he's the one upperclassman who gets one of these will be the one of these will be Terrence's room. The other one will be a room exclusively for crime. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's a oh. crime room. Oh, are we doing that now? That's okay, what you do if you're doing crime, what do you mean are we doing that now? We've committed so many crimes. Oh, I know. Where the board can go. Exactly. The crime board. But, All right, no, which... the conspiracy. <laughs> Not the crime board. It's the Some of those things are crimes. Which crime room? Jason? Which room are you saving for turn and which room are you saving for? Or are you making the crime room? Investigation room. The CSI. investigation room. How about investigation crime room on the inside and turns room on the outside? Okay. Here. CSI Hagen. I'm just gonna write crime room, but we'll change that later. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> well, I'm, I have to remake this whole image once uh, once we finalize some stuff. Oh, and I was asked to be in the li liaison, and totally, it's totally okay to say no. But the squirrel, um, uh, co the Acorn Coalition is asking if they could have a secure inside room sometimes <laughs> for like uh, war conferences or um, uh, galas. Crime. crime room. Yeah, okay, could, I just wanted to know could, if they, we could keep the window cracked open. Yeah, we could have like a little or a squirrel flap in the window. <laughs> yeah, and okay, they could cool. come in there and meet with us. But of course, we would have to be able to lock it. Yeah, because we wouldn't weird. necessarily want them yeah. in there all the time. Hmm. Well, so we don't have to put a squirrel door. We can just like if they're allowed in, we'll keep the window open. If they're not, we'll close the window. Right, that'll be the conference area. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I the just crime they, conference. They're wondering. <laughs> Or they just like, or we keep it closed just to be safe. When they need to use it, they knock on who's closest. Oh, Shandi's room. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. Okay. He's nominated I'm, I'm as only, the official liaison. Yeah. I'm only a little sorry, Shandi. So if I if I hear a squirrel knocking, yeah, you gotta go get Una because she's gotta translate. Or, uh, Tether. You gotta get Tether. Okay. Sorry. Everett, Everett walks over Shandi and says, Welcome to the cool side of the stairs. I don't know where this is coming from. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Did your voice get deeper? It feels like it got deeper. No, it was always this deep. It's just that I... It was always this deep. You just forgot. No, I remember it being pretty high and it cracked a lot. Nope, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna let them know, Shandi, in like an hour or two, can you poke your head out the window so they can recognize you? I suppose that won't be an issue. 
Okay, cool. Uh, all right, you have some more spaces um, that you should fill. You have the two sort of middle common areas. They're quite large. There's definitely room for both of them on either wing. Um, as well as, like, the hole downstairs. So the way this works is there's two staircases leading up. They meet on a, uh, um, a level yeah, landing here and then continue upwards connecting here. And there's this whole area... Uh, there's this whole area up here, and then there's two pretty much empty wings. Obviously, the kitchen is here, um, but that's about it. So I don't know if anybody has any ideas of things they want going places, but uh, the the program is willing to, within reason, cover the price for most stuff that you want to get. Within okay. reason Giant. is written... Comfy. written <laughs> Couch. Comfy. Within reason is Five. written like bold and underlined like three times. Don't worry, we already we already handled the not within reason stuff. Yes, you did. I feel like we can get away with like couches very easily. Oh, where do you want couches? Uh, probably tables and desks are within reason. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to say? Um, oh, oh, well, we need some kind of dining table. True. True. Mm -hmm. True. The left side downstairs wing is like the dining area with like a nice like a like a table and a chairs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and stuff. Oh, can we get a table with like a map of the world? Sure. Uh, I have a I have a I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a proposal. I have a proposal. What about a room where it's like like very like lit up and then we have we each get like a wand and then when you point it at somebody then they're like out and like a little like light comes out of it and it's like a and then like and then like it's like tag but like with like with like like light that comes out of your your the pointy things and then it's like a game trying to invent the just, <laughs> just hold up the paper and point at the within reason <laughs> 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 All right. I mean, like I, you know, I hear it. I hear you have it. To just I cast minor illusion and shines a light at <laughs> Everett. And I was thinking, um, for the um right side, um, you know, comfy, um, uh, like cushions and like a nice carp, a nice rug, and then we can maybe um connect the ventilation system next door in like the forge. For, not forgery forge area and it could be like a smoking room i don't know so the forge is not actually connected the forge is like an open air pavilion the lounge okay. and also smoking room very nice um and we have that sort of back area back there you got back here you've got i mean you've got space bathroom. here and you also have your two old zones um I got the rumpus corner up here. Yeah, there's like a little nook by the bathroom. Hmm. Yeah, and we have these corners by the stairs up there. Yeah, so you, you have a whole room up by the stairs you can fill. Mm. How many more spaces do we need? Could you, we can, get... you can fill these later, but like... Could we get like a library? Like, I know we have a library yeah, no, across you get, the you street. Get, you get bookshelves. You would probably have to like yeah. fill the library yourselves, but like you could definitely oh. get bookshelves set up no no we can write the library will not be an issue yeah right here like um where um uh on the opposite side where the lounge area mm -hmm. is wait library the there game room that's no that's the book nook no game room that's the book nook no the game nook. room we could have the wand game with the lads i'm just i'm just saying we're running out of big spaces though you've got two big spaces left and this is a big space but there's a big hole with railings around it in the middle so like yeah that shouldn't be the laser tag room that's, <laughs> that's no laser tag. <laughs> how about a compromise in the library on one of the walls there is a dartboard Ooh. well the the book nook is here right down here yeah we could do a dart we could do darts up on one side of the stairs yeah, for sure. Darts. Just like dartboard up here. Let's do that boy side. That was an side. idea for my room, though. Oh, oh, we don't. I don't want to take it from you. You can. Have no, I, that was not. That was not Una. Sorry. Okay. I was cool. not talking in character. Okay, cool. I think darts on the other side. Sorry. No, you're good. It's easy. It's easy to move. Okay. I mean, do we need a like? Do we need? Do you want like a sitting other... place up here? For while you're playing darts, be right back. Yeah. Some like couches. Yeah. Conversation pit. Mm -hmm. Conversation pit. 
<laughs> this is the bean bag lounge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bean bags. Bean bags. <laughs> Okay. What yeah. about what about like what about like what about like like a like a cork board to like place like cool messages for each other and like a little like, yeah like a little that. message board wait yeah. we, could, we, could also, we could have a chore board up too <gasps> yeah what? no no yes. <laughs> yes. no not on the cork board Una pulls no. out a paper and starts making a chore board where do you want that to be um on the other side where the dart is okay well, wait would. Would people see that every day? You would have to, unless you take the slide, you'd have to walk past it every day for sure. Here's, my, here's what I would think. Here's what I, I think. almost you, want you to put, put it the, like near the kitchen. Want, yeah, like in that empty space of the wall between dining no. and kitchen. Right. Okay. No, I don't think so. I think put the put the chore board under the dart board so that way if no we get tired of the people riding on the chore board, we can throw darts at them. Why would Luna we wants get it near tired? the kitchen? I'm putting, I, I'm writing down near the kitchen shore board and fun board. <laughs> Those two things should not be the same. <laughs> They're right next it'll, to each other. No, it'll be like a giant cork board where we'll put like notices up. Um, like, uh, hey, I need a favor. Cash in your favor. I don't know. Um, we can put <laughs> drawings we draw of, for each other. Drawing part it's of the cork board. Part of the cork board, of the cork board will be the chore chart. Will just be part of the cork board. Items yeah. for sale. Um. Hey, can someone take my shift at Gilligan's? How not you, that I would. Not you, that I would ever trust any of you to take my shift there. But like, that's just an example. Have you considered that there are five of us and that we could just talk about it? You suggested the notice <laughs> board. That's the fun. That's the fun board. That's the, the board for like fun it's stuff, not for chores. <laughs> I don't think you're understanding my vision, Everett. It will be a giant cork board. The, right. There will be fun things on it and a chore board and a chore chart. Chore chart. Uh, that better? All right. Well, if you turn it into a chore wheel, that's pretty fun. Can my chore that's be just... washing the floors because I can summon water? And de summon the dirty water. Whoa. Can my chore just be making food for people? <laughs> Her. I mean, we do have the dining hall, so I guess that doesn't make sense. But we do have a really nice kitchen. It is, it is a sure very nice than. kitchen. We should have, like, house... We should have well, house dinners sometimes. Chef. You guys are better than anyone else in this world. Whoa. <laughs> Everett hears all, all these folks suggesting things that they could contribute, and he he's, like, resolved to, like, just Tom Sawyer them all. It's like doing his chores for him. Like Te his... Teenage Everett doesn't <laughs> want to do his chores. Um, you got you got some space up on either side here if you want to use it. If you don't want to use it and want to make use of it later, that's also totally cool. But does a Magitech dry weight erase board exist? Normal dry erase boards exist. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's just a very medieval board. fantasy. Yeah, well, but... we're in we're in we're in like right. arcane punk fantasy in the Zandor Empire, got it. so. Can we in chalk, foundry? Chalk can exist. we in foundry make that dry erase board happen? Yeah, I can. I can, draw on it. I can make just that make happen. a new map, and then we can all doodle on it. Oh. I actually think I can give you a journal you can doodle in, but I'll have to figure out how to do that. So, I mean, if you just make like a new map, we can all just write on it because we can all doodle on the okay. foundry. Okay, don't Are doodle you... on this map. <laughs> We're not gonna leave it there. Um. Yes, I will do that. I won't do that today, but it will exist someday. I was thinking, um, on the uh, on the empty space on the other side of the um, dartboard, if we can ask have have a door put there, it could be extra storage space for things that we can't fit in our rooms. So this is um this isn't a wall. This is a railing. Oh, never mind. Sorry. I didn't. I know that. it doesn't. It doesn't look like that, but it is a railing. Yeah. Um, and the, Wait, sorry, I... and the door to the back porch is under the landing. I guess I didn't specify that either. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have any ideas now, you can not use them yet, but it'll take time between you requisitioning the things you want in that air in those areas and actually, like, getting them, so. 
The sooner you put it in, the sooner you get it. We probably shouldn't you guys... call it a smoking room when we say it. We just call it a lounge. Okay. But we can we we, we can rig up the ventilation ourselves and figure out a, a something or other. I don't have anything to smoke at the moment, but well, interesting you should say that because I saw money. that there's I saw that there's a garden out there. <laughs> No. I'm thinking, think it out loud. No. Yeah. Think it out loud. Think it out loud. I thought. Can, oh, is, is it can okay? We, can I? Can I say? Can we please keep the smoking in the hot pot? That's true. It, uh, it'll, no it'll smoking in make, the house it, rule is a good rule. Thank you. No, I'm just saying that we could grow out there. That's what I'm. I'm gonna have to that's smoke out there. That's not a good thing either. <laughs> you could smoke in the greenhouse. That's that's not uh, in the house. Do we have a definitive way to get rid of the smell? You open the window. Press the digitation. Is it, okay. illegal, to grow, <laughs> is it illegal to grow drugs in? Yes. In the Zymori Empire. Okay. Yes. Damn it. Pipe weed um, is technically. It's it's legal medically for adults. None of you guys are legally allowed to smoke pipe weed except for Septon. Lame. Well, and, right. and even then, you need a medical card to be able to do it. Pa, Septon's gonna get a medical card. <laughs> <laughs> Septon's gonna come Septon's back to one go, of our go adventures. Mrs. Lee with, a, with an anxiety disorder. <laughs> Septon's gonna come back from one of our adventures limping. And be like, ah, oh, I took a bad hit in the leg. <laughs> Honestly... <laughs> I can grow a wild batch in the forest. That is true. Better. <laughs> that I is guess. that is true. That is that is public property. Yeah. Also, you guys know I um I planted all those um 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 poisonous plants all around our old place. Yeah. I didn't ask your permission. I'm sorry. Um, I'm learning. Um, and I was asking I because we can grow like regular plants in most of the plant beds but can i have one or two for my own devices honestly yeah keep yeah. it in one of the plant beds so it doesn't like spread yeah two i don't see myself using one of the beds so you can have mine yes okay I I would like to have one for my own devices if that's acceptable. I promise I won't grow drugs unless you want me to. Listen, if Tether's growing like poison that can kill people, drugs are not our biggest concern. Weirdly though, I'm all not... those those poison plants totally legal in Zymor. Not a problem. Hmm. I I would I mean I just need to I just need to have a place to grow materials for various spells and things like that. Just make sure that I have enough of all the things I need. Oh, if you um, need help with any of like the any of the stuff, I can probably get it get it for you very easily. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Um and speaking of also asking permission this time, you know how I was growing um illicit mushrooms underneath our porch? Yeah. Can I transfer that colony to underneath this porch? That's probably for the best before one of the new people finds it. Yeah. I wholeheartedly support that. Knock, 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 knock. Your front door uh, has a has a knocking. Who is it? Oh, man. Um, the door opens, and you see... Oh, did not say come in. <laughs> she doesn't care. Uh, the door opens, and you see... Mrs. Lee, with a basket like the size Aww. of her torso, um, filled with muffins and cupcakes and baked goods. Anything you've ever said that you like, she has in this basket. Um, and she says, my darling little chickadees! And she runs in, and she like goes in for a hug, but she's holding a basket, so she goes over to the kitchen, puts the basket down, and then she comes over and she tries to hug as many of you as she can at the same time. Um. Oh, welcome back! Oh, do you like the new place? Yeah, yes, it's lovely. Oh, great. It's, awesome. it's amazing. I am so glad to hear it. Um, they are going to begin construction on your old place starting tomorrow. So if you left anything in there, make sure to go get it today, tonight. Um, or tomorrow during the day. They're going to start in the afternoon. So, um, so yes. Uh, but I just wanted to welcome you back um, and say hello. All right, oh, I, there's so many things I need to tell you, but I am just so excited to see every, every one of your faces. Um, first things first though, 
you might notice that you're missing uh, you're down a member um that's on purpose this time he didn't just leave um turn is safe he is on a bit of an independent study with a close friend of the program. Um, you know, that boy can't stand still, and he said that he wanted to get his memories back as soon as he could. So uh, we, we reached out to, to, to some friends of the program, and he is doing a bit of an internship with them at the moment. He will be back, uh, and he is A-OK. -okay. We're keeping tabs on him. So do, no need to worry about uh, Mr. Turn. He will be joining us soon. So don't uh, uh, don't use up all the rooms. <laughs> um, Are you sure it's not because he's mad he's not going to be in the boys wing? The bo I wasn't aware there was a boys wing. Um, I don't think he would be. No in turn. Uh, the little that I do. <laughs> um, but don't you worry about him. He is he is he is safe. He is sound. Um, and. Yes, he'll be he'll be back soon. Um, next, the underclassmen, your new underclassmen, will be arriving today as well. So be sure to welcome them like good upperclassmen would. Um, your friend Elias. Yeah, oh, we are we already said hi to Cynthia on her way in. Oh, Mrs. Hellminster, yes. Um, that she's she's a lovely girl. Um, I and her her uh, her helper, her friend was was very cordial as well. Um. Great, she's here. Another boy, some of you met him, um, is here as well. And of course, Elias is here, but he is currently in the underground lab with Mr. Railsinian. Um, but he'll probably be up and about uh, soon. So um, you'll, you'll see him. But the, 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 other, the other three should be arriving today as well. So please welcome them. Please give them a warm, bright futures welcome. <laughs> Um, th okay, so the next, the next thing, sorry, I have a whole list, and she pulls out, like, a notebook, and she starts, like, flipping through, she's like, yes, yes, next, the spring fling that got cancelled due to, you know, um, at the end of last year has been altered into a homecoming dance that will be happening this Saturday, so be sure to go out and get a date, bring a guest, dress your fanciest, we've got the platform on the lake all set up and everything, it's gonna be a ton of fun, so be sure, uh, to, to, to enjoy it, please bring some guests and, and, and have some fun with our homecoming dance, um, Yes. Um, n uh, next, your classes will begin tomorrow with a joint session between you and the underclassmen in the tower at 9 a.m. sharp. You'll get to meet your tactics instructor and all of the new elective teachers because there are elective courses now, which is pretty exciting. Um, you'll get to hear about how the new school year is going to work and all that, everything, everything good. Um, and uh, next, oh, I should really wait to tell you about this, but I'm just too darn excited. Um, we are introducing clubs to the curriculum. Clubs! <laughs> Uh, they're not required, of course, um, but it is highly encouraged to form a club based on your interests, whatever your interests are. In order to make a club, at least two students um, have to submit a proposal to me, and upon approval, you'll be given a room in the tower to serve as a club room, as well as funding for club projects and activities. This will probably be the easiest way to get in contact with your underclassmen, as your classes will be mostly separate well electives are together but your core classes will be separate um so please make use of this uh this wonderful opportunity and help us make uh hogan estate just a bright cheerful place with all sorts of great activities going on and there's no limit to the number of clubs you can participate in as well unless like it it starts like inflicting uh damage on your on, on your grades in which case we you know you might be advised to stuff anyway anyway a uh, last but certainly not least this morning chef finished his supply of salted eel it is gone it is done so no. starting tomorrow there will be no eel on the menu for the rest of the school year so get it today if you want to eat it again this year all right we've eaten nothing but eel for the past year <laughs> <laughs> Um, and that is all the announcements. Oh, oh, I'm just so excited for this school year. I think it's going to be a good one. I really do. Well, if you need anything, you know where to find me. Oh, yes, Tether. I'm sorry. I don't know if this is insensitive or not. So if it's insensitive, I apologize in advance. But last time we ate baked goods that were from you in our house, we did get drugged. So can you try them a little well, bit first? Well, that wasn't me. But yes, uh, I of, know. Of course, of course I can. And she, she picks one up and she, she takes a bite of a muffin. She's like, See? Good. Thank Captain you. Captain will also immediately grab one and start eating. Well, Thank you, Mrs. Ray. Of course, of course, anytime. Um, it, oh, it's so, oh, it's so lovely to see your faces. She's gonna grab your cheeks up then and do the little grandma thing. 
All right. Um, all right. Let's, uh, I have things to do, things to do, people to meet, but I will see you tomorrow at the, the first class, the first meeting. Oh, I'm excited. Um, Bye. And she bustles on out Bye. of the house. So anyway, I don't really well, know what to put uh, in that room. <laughs> but we could just leave them as they are for now. And yeah. Okay. It, much It'll like, come uh, to us later. you know, all the additions we made last year to the house, I'm sure things will come to us. Yeah. Oh, speaking of the old house, we you heard Mrs. Lee. We have to, like, um, get everything out. I didn't, like I said, I didn't touch anything in our room, Una. We need to go and separate um, which soil you want. Um, um, the bugs. Um, I, yeah, I, I wasn't finished you... moving out. <laughs> I'll see y'all in a minute. So I'm okay. just going back to moving stuff. This is like a real school now, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Book Ghost is too cool for school now. <laughs> um, so Una, Una took pretty much everything at the when she left for the summer, but she will go with Tur. No, I mean, nope. Fuck. <laughs> he's yeah, not, he's not even the... here, and it's happening. <laughs> Who the, I sorry, I just blacked out for a second. Um, Una will go with Tether to go to their old room. You probably want to hold your breath because, like I said, there is a very powerful uncolony of Stachybotrys charterum. Mm-hmm. Oh, also. I was, I, I forgot to mention, oh no, I was thinking um, in our porch we can get a fire pit and shares. Yeah. Okay. That's that the one smoking one. zone. <laughs> it's a septum from boys' room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Wait, you. you... Want... No, you're going in. No, oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. You just want some topsoil or. Um... Uh, you know. You know, I think I think I'm gonna start. I I have a different concept for my room this year. Mm -hmm. But if I need soil, so I don't think I will need soil now. But if I change my mind, I will come to you. Okay, so I can I take all you of it and then take it all. Okay, cool. And then, I mean, we'll have a door between us, so we it'll be easy to if you need True. it. True. Exactly. Okay. Let's get ready Are you to sure sleep. None of the bugs. Out. Thank you for the hundred bits, John. <laughs> The dung beetles really liked you. Maybe I could make a little terrarium for the dung beetles. <laughs> okay. How's that? Okay, cool. I need, I, need some, I need to start thinking of decorations anyway. They could be my little bedside pals. Okay, awesome. And I will get some kind of fish bowl. I will put that on my list. All right. <laughs> Okay. If, cool. So, if you have any like recommendations for plants, non-poisonous, that they would like, do you, do you know what a terrarium is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. They like decaying wood. Okay. Um, they like a lot of soil. Most of it should be soil because they do burrow. But like aesthetically, <laughs> um, grass. Okay. And dung. What are my other insect options? <laughs> oh, if you're worried about dung, we can probably broker a deal with the Acorn Coalition. Uh-huh. I, 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 I'm just, I, I, I think, I, I think we're on different wavelengths with, um, uh, because I also, I want a home for the dung beetles, obviously. Yep, of course. But I also want it to sort of fit my theme so it needs to be a little pleasant looking and dung is not the most pleasant looking okay um um let me think let me think let me no think. offense but if you take the dung beetles i will visit them okay ooh ooh how about this how about this um do you want and I'll pick up a stick, and on the stick is a cocoon. This death head moth. That's his name? The death head moth. <laughs> sure. Honestly, yeah, I'll take that. 
I don't know when she's coming out. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. I have a pet now. Nice. You well, you will. <laughs> I hope it's not dead. All right. Cool. So you. Oh, it's one of. Oh, it's one of those. You managed to uh, finish moving anything that you have to and from. Something you move fully out. You can't tether. You can gather your dirt and your your spores and your moss and stuff, and you can put that in your new room. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm I'm going all out this time. All right. It is it is a it is a terrarium in there. Um, yeah. I assume you don't want your bed. No. Yeah, that'll be moved out. Um, yeah, what's everybody else putting up in their room? Or desk. Cool. That will be removed as well. Can I take your desk and make mega desk? You can have mega desk. Do you want mega bed too? Extra mega bed, because Una's already pretty yeah, small for these beds. don't need it. Offer it to one of the boys. Okay, I'll just yell down the hall. Does anyone want mega bed? <laughs> 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 okay, you can move it out. I, Septon will walk down there, cast enhance ability <laughs> on himself for the advantage on strength checks, and just fucking move that bed. He'll beef out. Grab. Do the I need bed. to make an athletics check? No, nah, it's fine. It's just a bed. And also, I'll you have no time you. limit. You can make. You can if you want. You're, you're welcome to. Let's let's find out. I do want it to be. Oh, thank God. Twenty. How is, how, is awesome. are you picking it up or are you dragging it? That's um, a good question. With 20, can I pick it up? Yeah, totally. Yeah, no, Seth will just fucking lift it and walk okay. through the house. I just had to make sure he wasn't messing up the floors. <laughs> no, 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 that's true. <laughs> so Seth yeah, has... what are what are people's rooms starting to look like? I know you're just just starting to uh to unpack, but if anybody has any ideas. Well, I don't have room. any things or money, so uh there's some musical instruments on the desk. Well, again, the, the Bright Futures Initiative will pay for some furnishings. Some, within reason. Yeah, but we can't get them today. No, no, but, like, if you have ideas on what you want this to be, either say them now or tell me later, I guess. Uh, I'm just going to pull up a pull-up bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm go away. Everett, Everett Puberty Arc is so funny, dude. Like... <laughs> Everyone's got like the closest what equivalent. Was the to, like... What was that thing called? Bowflex. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got the closest the... equivalent. Yeah. Like posters taped on the wall. Everyone's just do... the... Everett's doing the like white boy evolution right now. It's incredible. A shelf that for some reason just has a lineup of empty energy drink cans. <laughs> <laughs> he has the uh, he has he has the he has the beer staff, um, and he has his pull up bar. And he has a pile of clothes on the floor. Um, and that's what he's doing. That's what his aesthetic is. All right. And, an, and a Magitek um, setup for games that uh, is set up on the box it came in. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not, not a complicated person right at the moment. There's a lot of controversy happening in Boys Wing over Everett staying up too, night, too late playing Valorant. <laughs> 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 Valorant that's is now canonized. Everett's main is definitely Yoru. He's definitely <laughs> absolutely a Yoru man. Yeah. Everett Everett subscribed to Fantasy Crunchyroll and just watches dubs really loud into the middle of the night. He's <laughs> like, yeah, Goku could beat up Superman for sure. <laughs> Says he doesn't understand how to play Valorant. He just likes to get shouting, "He's correct." <laughs> <laughs> no idea how to play. All right, that's Everett's. That's Everett's vibe. I can guess what Sean D's vibe is, but if you'd like to inform me a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not sure how much of this he packed. I imagine because he had it last year, he has some sort of like portable weapons rack that he can hang on the wall. Oh, absolutely, yeah. But yeah, he's got, he's got his swords up on the wall. Um, eventually, he wants to get like a personal bookcase in his room to go next to the desk. Uh, some really nice lighting on the desk too, like expensive candles. Mm -hmm. um, He's got the lineup on the bed. You got Rip Rap. You got <laughs> Caltrops. You, you got the, you got the Admiral. You got uh, Princess Bubble Shine, who's the new one. Yes. Um, did I get one that was an Earth Elemental at one point? You did. I forget what I named that one. Is it in Obviously my inventory? Good name. Brutal. 
Is it in my inventory? I'm gonna have to like scrub through the VOD to find it for you. Well, we got the Earth Elemental that I, I definitely named yeah. um, something really oh, good. Oh no, Willow uh, named it. She named it something that's edgy. Right. That's right. Well, I'll find that it. one's there too. It. The whole lineup's there, uh, and then eventually, I think Shanti just wants to deck his room out with like some nice art that he's gonna probably probably go to Kelshar and buy himself totally. instead of commissioning it. All right, I know what Tyler's room looks like. It is a terrarium. Uh, yeah, Una, like what's... this time there's like plants yep. growing, and the window's permanently open. And I wanted to plant ivy on the side of the building, and I want the ivy to like start growing inside the. You can, you can start planting that, yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and Una, what's your what's what's the energy of your room okay. to be? Okay, Una's room. She is going for cottage core, but. Not quite gothic cottage core, just darker toned mm, okay. cottage core. So you know she brought that like mosquito net netting <laughs> over her bed. <laughs> yeah. Um she has made a uh, a reading nook, not out of a chair, but a chair out of books. Ah. Kind of like she had uh when she was studying at the archives right. that she would do when it was like finals week <laughs> yeah. or whatever yeah. um she i guess there's no over she doesn't use the big light she has her own sure. little yeah. twinkly lights She's all over some magitech twinkle it's, lights exactly. for sure um she has like along like the top corners and the walls she has herbs hanging dried herbs hanging around that are like Signature flowers from Helvest, herbs that her mom uses in a lot of cooking, so it smells a bit of home. Um, I have a whole list. Hold on, let me make sure. Hell um, yes. Uh, now with the Mega Desk, it is reminiscent of those really cool decked out gamer desks. Minus the gamer, it's just full of organizational things mm -hmm. for pens, books, notebooks all those things um pinned up against the wall is her own to-do list her schedule a calendar that she can flip around for her mini conspiracy board <laughs> <laughs> um because obviously the the original one will go behind that elias original yeah. somewhere in the in the crime room um, in the crime room um da -da -da. um Oh, there will be a, like a bedside table for, and uh, because I need a, I, I need a terrarium holder right now. She's just holding this <laughs> little, she's for now like propped up some books <laughs> and just like stuck the stick in the middle of them and being like, okay. Um, uh, she wants a, her own dartboard, mm -hmm. even though no dents will be made, but <laughs> it's fun to have. Fun to um, practice. Yeah. And that's about it. Cool. Are you hanging the, the painting your parents gave you? Oh, duh. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, all of these things will come probably in the next week as you as you requisition all this stuff. I asked you. You said nothing. You said, my room's nothing. Do you have something to say, Peter? Yeah. I don't <laughs> all right, remember let's hear it. saying that. Let's hear it. No, well, of course, the bottom half of the room is bed. Because the double bed is just wall to wall. That's true. You, you've wall to wall the the bed right next to the window. Yeah, that's that's that. Then uh, if the guy who sleeps the least took mega bed, the guy who doesn't sleep took mega bed. Listen, <laughs> I, was about to, bed ain't I was about to, I was about to make a joke that Septon would have navy sheets, but then I looked behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, navy comforter, and I literally have a navy comforter. <laughs> and the um, other one is gray. Self, self own, honestly. <laughs> no, something has the bed all the way across the bottom. Then probably like honestly, he's gonna probably ask for like a case, like a case on the wall or standing to start putting instruments in because he's got a collection building. Yeah. Um, he's got three instruments now. Uh, what's the What's the new one? Hey, what's the new one? Got the fiddle. Something to learning how to play <gasps> the 
fiddle. Go on the roof. <laughs> Go on the roof not and play the fiddle. fiddle. Actually, Blake, I mean, it is the pictures. Kind of fiddle. Is, the it, pictures... is it a violin? Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it's a fiddle. Don't worry about the pictures. Okay. That's just what Foundry has. The pictures are never accurate to what the item actually looks like. Okay. Um... But yes, it, yeah. it's a fiddle. It's a fiddle. It's a violin. Yeah, the desk is just covered in like scraps of music that barely work, and then I don't know, like a wardrobe to throw all this clothes and armor in. Because right. oh, oh wait, I have. Uh, I might need space for my new armor because I bought bigger armor than you Septim's did. ever had. Yeah, you can get an armor stand for sure because that's yeah. that's the kind of armor that's gonna need a stand rather. It than... needs a stand. Yeah, yeah, then an armor stand up in the top corner. Yeah. Sweet. Awesome, yeah. All of these things, as you, you sort of write them down and you can deliver them missusly over the course of the next week. All, all of these things are reasonable to ask for. Um, you might have to go out and find the specific herbs yourself or find the specific paintings yourself, but like the general vibe, you can absolutely get the furniture. Sweet. Yeah, and you, uh, you spend a few, you spend a few hours till like mid-afternoon setting up to the best of your ability. I mean, some of you finish quicker. Um. Than others. Oh, obviously. and then it's like the first day back at college. People are just chilling in each other's rooms while the person who over decorates is <laughs> yep. finishing up. Stuff that'll help other people move stuff around because he's got that. I the the enhanceability on yeah the enhanceability running if people need stuff moved around. I have a lot and, of uh, soil can, to move yeah, from one house to another. That. Can I ever make a strength check to see how many pull-ups he can do in a row? Yeah, let's let's go athletics for me. Ho ho ho! Eighteen. All right. Yeah, Everett, you you you've been you've been like working out because of a certain someone who's been encouraging you to do it all summer. Um, mm. And it's starting to show. It is starting to show a little bit. You're like, you're doing pretty good pull-ups. And you keep I mean, looking. He weighs nothing. That, that's, yeah. that's, <laughs> part, that's part something, of it. Something walks by and just thinks to yourself, but he has no mass <laughs> to lift. Yeah, but he's, it's still, he's like making it look real hard. And you, um, and you, you're sneaking some so peeks good. to see if people are watching you for sure. Yeah. Like, uh, mm -hmm. and like, you, yeah, you see Septon walk by and like laugh to himself. Smile. Yeah, I'm uh, what? <laughs> it's up, Sept. Sept. Yeah, you you uh, you working on the bar mm. there? Doing some, <laughs> doing some reps, eh? Yeah, just just give him my best shot, you know. Just uh, <laughs> just putting just just no days off, you know. It's my new philosophy. Septon, right. Septon, you know that no days off is Yannick's philosophy as well uh your your new your new yannick. your your new group of friends um the earth genasi goes to felfrit yannick his whole he says no days off every day every single day of his life on that grind 365 <laughs> on does everett paint on his door ndo <laughs> um every every like is gets really into like Supplements is what it gets into. So he's just like constantly like As it going goes. around town, like looking for like just looking fall. for like whoever has like the latest like creatine or whatever the hell. Like Yeah, and yeah. like you you guys have said that you've been with Everett all, all summer. Not a change in his physicality. He's identical. Yeah, yeah. You would absolutely <laughs> say, like that like that regardless of how much he works out, he looks exactly <laughs> the same. Like, no, not a little, not like a twinge of difference. He's a goat. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is, he has his ring on most of the time. Like, nobody but you really knows he's a ghost. So he's just like a, he's like a 14-year-old kid, and he just looks the same no matter what. Um, yeah. Cool. So, I mean, as you finish, as you fit that ghost has a lot. <laughs> it's the one episode I'll never delist. Um, as you, as you guys finish unpacking and decorating, um, it is now mid afternoon. Well, my final thing was, I was uh, Chelsea. I was thinking like the door that um, uh, connects our two rooms. I was thinking like very small, like you'd have to crouch to go through, I'd have to crawl to go through. You know, Us, something yeah. unobtrusive. Yeah. yeah. How, how are you making that? Are you making that or are you asking for it to be built? 
Uh, well, I was originally mm. um, making it with through stone shape when I thought this was a stone building. Unfortunately, it is a wooden building. Yeah. We'll just ask. Yeah, we'll just ask. One night, Una just hears... Hi! Yeah. through the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Um... Yeah, well, what do you guys want to do? It's mid afternoon. You're 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 moved in at this point. Tether, you've moved the mushrooms from the under the other porch to this porch is with Septon's okay, as well. Yeah. Thank you. Septon is gonna put <laughs> one portal from Gloves of the Porter over his bed. <laughs> He's going to run across the building, okay. go down the slide, and put the other one at the bottom of the slide. <laughs> So he goes down the slide, back in his room, and hits his back. So you guys hear a thunk. <laughs> Amazing. As and and Everett, you see from across the hallway, as Septon like comes with momentum out of the portal and like hits the bed, but like tumbles and like slams into the wall behind him. Septon, Ooh. are you okay in there? <laughs> yeah, you're fine. I like it hurts a little bit, but that shit ruled. So like, who cares? Conducting important research. Please don't. Please don't get in the way. Uh, getting started on academics already. <laughs> Best use of those gloves we've ever found. <laughs> Today we're studying physics. Except it does the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah, over and over. Yeah, you you, you hear these noises. Um. Probably not more than three times. Yeah, the third time, though, you hit the wall, and you're like, all right, this is starting to hurt a little bit. Um, and you look out the window, and you see two figures coming up out from the now not hidden door um, beneath the library. It has been, like, turned into a much larger and more notable door, and there's actually a pathway going up towards it. You see two figures coming out of it. One a uh, tall, half-elven man in blue robes, and one a shorter human boy with some antlers. And they look tired, but they're just, like, talking to each other, and they seem to be heading towards the dining hall. You guys want to get some grub? Um, I have some grubs if people want some. Um, I was hoping for them to grow a little bit, but I think they're still a good snack. I say no, we go to the dining hall, yes. Them, yeah, let them grow. I think we can go and get some other food. It is the okay. last day for a uh, salted eel. <gasps> You're right, let's go. Maybe they have outdoor dining now that we can go sit out and like on a. They do. The walk to on the uh, on the upper uh, on the upper thing. If, actually, if you go to the Hagen Estate map, I can. Where the cool upperclassmen. I can sit. I can show oh, you this 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 zone. this like yeah. different colored yeah. area is a is an open air sort of dining hall. It was Ours. there last year, but you didn't really use it very often, so. Because like we the three, class. like the three tables at the dining hall that were just like outside. Yeah, that, like, exactly. No one sat in. But it's like it's like above it the powers. the dining hall. Yeah. Um, Let's go. All right, you head over, and as you exit the door, you actually almost run smack dab into Elias, who was running back the other way. And he goes, "Oh, oh, my friends! Uh, hello, I, I, how are you? What was my accent? Do you remember? Does anyone remember?" <laughs> I think I'm kind of a British. I'm yeah. pretty sure it was like... It was a little, Brit it was a little British and, and a little was, timid, it, right? It was like Ash Ketchum, but yeah. like extra raspy. Oh, what? No, was it? <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> I, I, I feel like that's Mel, right? Um, Wait, like, kind of like a, it's like midway between Mickey and Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never ask dog. any of you for help again. <laughs> You're all dead to me. This is the last episode of Bright Futures. Um, uh, hello. Uh, welcome back, everyone. It, it's great to see you. I mean, some of you have seen, but... Yeah, we've been here. U Una, it, uh, great to see you. Uh, Shandi as well. Tether, okay. I don't I haven't Hi. seen you very often. Um, hello. Well, uh, I'm very... Uh, welcome back. I'm so excited to be going to the same school as all of you. Um... I, I, it's a real school now. Yes. Well, that's the thing. I I am registered as a non-combatant, um, because I don't have. I've been learning some magic with with Averth, but um, I don't have really the the arcane power that like Everett does. Um, 
it doesn't seem to really be in my nature. But I, I am here to learn and to and to do my best. I just won't really be participating in any of the uh, the danger. <laughs> uh, instead, I am doing rather dangerous research with Averth in the in the the laboratory down there. Um, there's some there's some wacky stuff down there to say the least. Um, yeah. Very interesting. Oh God, I hate myself. Everett walks over and like. Like, like, pretends he's big and, like, walks over to the kid and he just, like, slaps his hand on their shoulder and he's like, everybody's got to play a role, you know? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's got to have a purpose. Y yes, you're right. I'm well, viscerally I uncomfortable. <laughs> well, Everett, um, if you ever need any help with the underclass, other underclassmen, you can let us know. And we have a currently an empty bed in our place if you need to... Um, your own private space. If you need to I, crash. I, I appreciate that. I, I don't know if I'll be taking you up on that. I, I've only met one of my cohort so far, and he's not very talkative. Um, but who knows about the rest of them? <laughs> um, yeah, keep an eye met, on them. We met uh, one of the new kids. Oh. Her name's Cynthia. She seems cool. Shandi, you're going to love her. Uh, okay. Which one was that? The, the redhead who was... was Cynthia. 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 Yeah. Hellminster. Blonde. blonde? Blonde. Strawberry blonde, but blonde, yeah. More blonde uh, than red. She's, uh, she's, she's a noble. She's, she's Ooh, a noble. Uh, yeah, Exciting. Yeah, Shanti, she's, she's a knight, and I was like, oh, my buddy is like a soldier for a noble house, but I don't know if he's a knight. Are you a knight? Can I call you Sir Shandi? No, uh, that would actually be rather improper. You should not call me that. I see. This is why you and her... You're going to get along great. Okay, you know all I the stuff. Forward, I look forward to the occasion. What if we knight each other? I don't think we have the authority. No, none of us. how that works. Yes, you'd have to have a, a regent you... do that for you. I'm in the Why emperor. Why do they get to do it? Because they rule the country. Wait, couldn't Lord... Isn't there like a... Wait. Have yes, here? well, the... the, the there are, of course, there's a noble. That's Shanti. Well, knows there is a there is a noble class, um, in in Zymor, um, and every major city is is ruled by a lord, um, but they don't have the power to like knight people. In fact, we don't ha really have knights much here in the empire anymore. You'd have to go to Kerleone or Salos for that primarily. Mostly, if you want to be a, a soldier with recognition, you become an officer in the Platinum Claw. Um, but if we did need knights, uh, the emperor would be the only one who could officially create knights. Emperor Sulak. Um, all this, all this talk of knights. Can I make a history check, real quick? Mm -hmm. Because there are a few times in my past where, you know, I've been a knight. Um, sure. Can I roll yeah. and see if I, if if there's like if there's some someone who comes up in me. Yeah. At that point. Natural one, let me tell you. Nine. You are thinking back, um, and you're like, oh, when was I a knight? And the only thing you can think about is how many pull ups you did this morning. You're like, that was pretty that was pretty heroic. <laughs> he just that was a nightly like, task. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I mean it's it's part of uh, the the sort of the knight's job to stay fit and I know all about that. So um that's really my Yes, um, contribution to the conversation here. Right. Dinner? Is, is there still eel? I haven't gone in yet. I was running back to the dorm to see if any any more of my group had arrived yet b before I went to join Averth. Well, join us for some eel. It's I, the last yeah, day. I, I, I'm going. I'm very hungry. I'll just. I'm gonna run back to my. I'll meet you there. How's that sound? We're we'll gonna be, be the at top. the top table. Oh, upper, the... upperclassmen at the top table. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I was, that was, okay, I didn't know, then I won't bother you up there. You're, huh. you are, no, 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 no you're oh. welcome. <laughs> right. you, you want got, a handwritten invitation? You've got an in one with no, the that's, upperclassmen now. That, that's all right. Um, either way, uh, good to see you. Uh, I'll see you soon. And he, he uh, sort of nods and smiles at you, and then he, he quickly makes his way over to the, uh, the other house. Um, as you approach the dining hall, you see Averth is waiting outside. He seems to have noticed you, and he's waiting for you to enter so he can go in with you. And he's like, hello, how is it going? I hope the summer has treated you well, those of you I have not seen yet. Um, very excited to announce that I have joined the program as an electives instructor, so 
Um, nice. We might be seeing Is more Ella of each a other. Fan of that? No, she's she's not happy. But um, I I have reminded her that she is a core instructor, and I simply teach a spellcraft class once a week. So that seems to have kept kept her um, kept her pleasant about it. Uh, we've 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 talked a bit, you know. It, it, we don't have a personal beef. It's just you know circumstances. Um, well, beef is for everyone. Sure. Um, but also, I, I'm here anyway. I, I have been assigned by the Exosort Elysium to, to research the ruin, the, the, the laboratory beneath um, the place. So I thought I might as well just uh, teach a class while I'm here. Um, so if you're interested in spellcraft in any capacity, don't, uh, don't be a stranger. Um, also, I've already put a quest for you on the quest board. So um, anytime. Quest board? What? Uh Ooh. Sorry, I. They're going to explain it tomorrow. Uh, pr- pretend I didn't say anything. Hell um, yeah. They're going to explain it tomorrow. I apologize. I don't tell Mrs. Lee I told you in advance. Uh, she'd be she'd be upset. Never. With me. Uh, ever ever way. walks up. Ever walks up to Everett and is just like, hey, um, don't tell anybody, but just like save a spot for me. Yeah. In yes. the class. Right. Yes. You're you're more than welcome. I I was hoping yeah. you would actually um join me. I, I've been intrigued. Yeah. Cool. 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 We don't have to talk about it. Uh. uh all no, right. We don't have to talk about it. All. We don't talk about it. No. 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 We don't. That. We don't. Well. Um. I'm gonna head in. Get some eel before it's gone. Um. But great to see you. Uh. Did someone say something? Did someone say something? I burped. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah, flatulence. Ah. Aha. <laughs> All right. Um, I catch you in there. <laughs> and he, he, he opens the door and actually holds it up for you guys. Um, you head on in, and right now it is like an all-you-can-eat buffet. Uh, you see Nalere is slopping eel onto people's plates, and she, as you walk in, she goes, What's up? And just right. uh, throws some <laughs> eels on your plate. I mean, you've seen her. She's, she's like... <laughs> I'm not gonna not say hello. No, no, I know, but she's not. She's not like welcome back. She's like, hey, um, and puts some stuff on your on your plates, um, and says, you better you better get a uh, get make the most of it. This is the last eel you're gonna see for a long time. Thank the gods. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna miss it for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, is it smells it... especially poignant today. Yes, it's the last of the bunch, so, you know. Is it, like, at this point, like, pickled and fermented eel? Yeah, it's like, it, this is as preserved as eel can get. There's only so much you can do with eel. I'm excited to stretch my culinary wings a little bit, and I know Chef is absolutely done, but he's sort of a waste-not-want-not kind of guy. And as if on cue, he comes out of the kitchen with a giant, like, armful, like, plate stacked high with eel, and he's like... Oh, welcome back! And he throws he throws the the things on the table. Hope you enjoy the eel. It's a it's a, it's it's a great ingredient, and we need to make the most of it. So thank you again for supplying it last year. All right, and he like he like pats you on the back real hard, and then heads back into the kitchen. Um, and Larry rolls her eyes and says, "Yeah, take what you want," and puts some more on your plate. And I can. Can ever make a um I guess I don't need to make a check. I think I I got off a of haste last time we played, right? You 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 cast haste in a catacomb, yes. And it wasn't Elitha said Elitha said No, Elitha you you Elitha saw and she said don't do that other places. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She was like, yeah, he she was that. like, cool. we got like, great. You saved some lives. Don't do that in public. You'll go to jail. We have awesome. another I, room where you're allowed to do. Yeah, that. you can just cast haste on yourself in the crime room and run in circles really fast. <laughs> A room for crime. <laughs> <laughs> I I just take some eel and go about my business. Cool. And you head as, on up. Oh. As we're slobbing up the eel, uh, Shandy's gonna say, you know, over the summer it dawned on me. For nearly an entire year, we ate nothing but eel and clam chowder. <laughs> and? I don't know what to make of it. It's just, <laughs> it struck me as odd. <laughs> we're going to have severe digestive trouble. You're also, like, in a landlocked city nowhere near an ocean. I assume it's... we're not just eating eel. There's I other there's stuff, like... but the main course of most meals last year was eel. <laughs> Septon was eating at the green rock when he could. 
That's why you learn to cook. Wonder, 10, 20 years from now, how our how our bodies will be affected by that. <laughs> um, you're going to the upstairs outside table. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, sit on down. Um, you're there for you're there for a little while. You're you're eating. It's a beautiful day. When you see a group of four walking up to the front, led by Elias. There are two figures that are familiar to Una and Shandi. Uh, a Fearbolg and a Half-Elf. And one figure who's familiar to Septon, Everett, and Tether. A Wood Elf. Um, I'm going to describe her, though, is the thing. You recognize her immediately. This is Maeve. This is Maeve. Maeve Lagish, one of your friends from this summer. Um, she's a Bergen transport who joined up with Isla's crew this summer. Um, she looks like a person. She's a wood elf with fair skin and dark brown hair that flows to the small of her back. Her hair, clearly very well maintained, sports a simple flower crown of daisies. And those of you that know her, um, would know that she has a different flower crown every day. Um, it is tucked behind two long ears, both of which are pierced um several times her face is kind but somewhat sharp centered on hazel eyes fenced by manicured lashes her clothing a pastel dress and canvas shoes is homemade but expertly so and quite stylish and her confidence sells it almost as high fashion um she's pretty tall but she's not imposing her face bright and her eyes brimming with excitement um as you as they all walk up elias sort of waves up um Runia and the half elf look up, and Runia goes, "Oh, hi, um, hi again." Oh, hello again. Um, and Maeve looks up and says, "Septon, Everett." Hey, May. Sorry, were you gonna tell us you were coming to hog? I was gonna surprise you on the first day. But uh, I guess I, I missed that boat, unfortunately. Well, yeah, surprise. Um, it wasn't sure. It wasn't a promised thing. I, I didn't get my spot confirmed until this this weekend. And I was like, oh, I'll wait till the first day to tell them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to school with you. That's great. That's great. awesome. Welcome. Um, can we can we join you? Yeah, please. No, get, yeah, pull the seat. All How right. big is this table? It's big, yeah. You can, you can, there's a couple tables out up up top, so you can like push them together, and make make a table a little bit. Um, but yeah, they they grab their stuff and they make their way on up. And Elias, Runia, the half elf, and Maeve all sit sort of across from you guys. Um, Everett is. <laughs> Do we is all gonna... sit on one side of the table? Well, you're all sitting like together, and then they sat together. You know. Oh, okay. I see. I know. I just. I was picturing <laughs> like the like, Last a, Supper, <laughs> a long, a long straight table, and we all sat on one side. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a round, like rounded table. <laughs> okay. Everett's um, gonna do his best impression of a good host and try to like sort of introduce his old friends to his new friends, and you know, be like, "This is Maeve," and you know, that whole thing, and she does this, and. Yeah, as, as you as you you come up and start doing that, she's like, Everett, have you been working out? Yeah. <laughs> Funny you should. And then uh, she no, yeah, she yeah, winks no, she winks been... at Septon and then uh, takes a seat. Uh, yeah, you no, know, I I just uh, you know I I've been really living by by my my new philosophy and it's just been really great. You know, it's just been really great. You know, I just feel on top of the world. You know, just ready to take All right, on but... and the new. Day. Um, <laughs> All right, buddy. I mean, what's hey, that, make make new philosophy. <laughs> I've oh, it's um, no, it's just it's just you know it's just no days off. No know? days it's off. Just, just, no, of okay. course. No, I forgot me, too. Me. I also forgot. Elves remind me. Um, Elves remind me that every morning when I wake up, you know, I'm not taking that day off, right? <laughs> um, and uh, and that's what I'm about. Ever, so, what are your friends' names? Oh, oh yeah, of course. I'm so sorry. I just I'm no. Right. You're, so this you're is all good. this is Sean B. Um, Sean, this is uh, this is Tether, and this is Una. Obviously, you know Septon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are the this is the them right here. Um, this is the whole this is the whole crowd that you missed out on last year. So 
So, uh, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy you're here to meet him. Yeah, I'm excited to get to know all of you. I'm Maeve. I'm from the Bergen Coalition originally, but my parents moved out to Kelshar this summer so that I could go here. Um, and luckily, I secured a spot, and I'm ready to learn. <laughs> um, you you know Elias already, and he's like, yeah. Um, and then you, the fur bog is, like, sitting, and she's, like, just staring at her food and just, like, very slowly eating. Uh, and the half-elf, he's doing that lean back in his chair thing. Um hands behind his head sort of just looking at all of you um can can ever make a charisma check ever wants to know like what is Maeve I mean like obviously I know Maeve but like I know what Maeve looks like based on this description mm -hmm. basically like what what is Maeve good at and like you would what you would know can, just because from what connections can I find with like with the other people in the group basically, so Maeve, is, Maeve is a talented magical healer um She's try she's been trying to learn more about like potion making, but she's just like very good at using her her innate magic to heal people. She's very kind. Um she was she was a lot like Isla. She's a lot like Isla, actually. Um she is outgoing, she is kind, she always has a smile on her face, she's nice to everybody. Um she likes healing, she likes organizing events, um, she likes learning new things and new people. She makes her own clothes. Um, so her and Daphne bonded over that quite a bit. Um, yeah. She's a little... Is she, she, she was, god? Is she, she's no. a cleric, right? She is a, oh, uh, no. she is a cleric, but she isn't relig She isn't particularly religious, no. Oh. Just sort of good vibe. Good vibes is her god. <laughs> Oh, she's got cool. she's got that she's got that flower crown she's living that like good vibe life you know what i mean young wild no, free my, I, I, live laugh love i mean mave is like an amazing healer like there were a couple times where i like you know was really going too hard on a couple of sets and Maeve just really set me right so like you know if, <laughs> if uh you know if you guys yes. if you guys if you guys need you know and 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 like, the infirmary is too far away i mean she's around the corner right it, uh, it is it is a skill i have i wouldn't say that i'm an expert. I don't mean to like volunteer your services. I'm just saying I, no, I no, no. I, been beneficiary. I appreciate it, Everett. Yeah, no, him and him and Yannick really get rough sometimes, and so does Arleth. So I, it's come in handy a few times this summer. Um, I'm not an expert though. Obviously, like you are all clearly more skilled than I am. Uh, but I do hope to learn from your from your uh, influence. Um, at this, the the half elf kind of like chuckles a little bit and then leans forward and starts eating. Mm -mm -mm. That was so good. I am done. And Tether's gonna stand up and start crawling down the balcony. <laughs> it's too, <laughs> too, uh. good, goodbye, Tether. So wait, I didn't. Uh, I didn't, I didn't know your <laughs> the, names. The, the, the fear bug turns and looks at you, and it looks like she's like, "God, I wish that was me." Like she's <laughs> deeply uncomfortable in this situation right now. Sorry, I didn't get your names. Oh, um, I'm I'm Runia. I don't nice have a last name. I'm sorry. That's fine. They're gonna yell. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the half elf says, "I'm I'm Dagar. Dagar Blythe. Pleased to meet you." Of course, that's his name. It's nice a good name. He doesn't say that out loud. He he clock he clocks your face and he says, "It's a good name, isn't it? Picked it myself." Where are you from, Dagar? I am from the great and bloated land of Carleone. Oh, so is uh, the other one. Where, where's Cynthia? Oh, the knight. Uh, she is unpacking, polishing her armor, getting all set up. Um, she said, Shandi, I'm telling you. Shandi perks up when he hears the word polishing. <laughs> you and Cynthia are going to get along great. <laughs> she's, uh, yeah, she's getting ready. Um... She said she'd join us in a bit, but when we said eel, she turned a little pale. Um, so I don't know if she'll actually be joining us today. Well, fortunately, this is the last day we'll be having eel for some time. Yeah. What Unless a shame. another giant one emerges from the lake. That's where it came from? Yeah, we killed this eel. Yeah. Oh, damn. All right. We also kind of brought it into existence. We did also bring it into existence. All right. Well, good to know you're not to be messed with. And what so are your, this what that are... occurred uh, around a year ago. Ah, oh, memories. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and then he looks back down at the eel and goes, Okay, well. Ah, they say the Zymor Empire has all sorts of great technology. I imagine food preservation is one of those. 
Oh, we that's not help. Tab, that's just Chef. We can only oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, no, me and me and uh, Miss Helminster don't. We don't come from the same circles, you could say. Karen Leone's uh, it's a big place. It's the biggest place on this uh, this continent, and uh, a lot of different walks of life. What is your uh? Wait, 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 in wait! In Septon's mm -hmm. head, Una can't help it but say, "Thanks for giving us a geography lesson, sir." <laughs> It's the biggest place in this continent. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore it. Like, so not to ask what your walk of life is, but like, no, no, you know. feel free. I'm an open book. No, no, no. You came to the school. What's your um? Oh, uh, oh I got. It. I think I got in here on blackmail. Oh, you I uh, fit right in. I cut a deal. Uh, cut a deal with a certain higher up in my country to give him some information, um, and to get me out. And here I am. You are going to fit in so well here, my man. too well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know if you guys... Yeah, we'll get into it later. But, uh, yeah, I can... Uh, I'm glad to hear I'll fit in. Um, there's no noble so folly... There's no, like, no noble folly presence in Kelshar, is there? I didn't I didn't hear that there was, but I heard it was a shaded alley town. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. We're, we're on pretty good terms with the shaded alley. Oh, okay. Cool. There was a whole thing. A cake came to life. Listen, it, we'll, we'll listen. Literally no judgment from me. Um, but let me know if there's any Shaded Alley people around. I should probably keep a low profile uh, when I am near them. So what's your, like, thing? What do you mean? Uh, what do you uh, do? For example, a Elias was saying registered as, to us earlier, registered as non-combatant. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, that's, I am not. I am that. not that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I just had. I didn't. He's like, I hadn't really gotten around to telling people, telling them that yet. Um, oh, my bad. My bad. No, it's it's all right. He's like, cool. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, no, I yeah, I I can hold my own. I can hold my own. With with like a sword or with like yeah, a I've got a. I've got a. I magic, mean, non magic. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not magic. Not to interrogate you, but yeah, I mean, it's well, a little should... bit. But uh, <laughs> it's all right. We're you're new people. Uh, no, I got. I'm a swordsman, and I know how to get things that I'm not supposed to. Oh. I don't know if that paints a good enough picture for you, but uh, that makes no, sense to no, me. I, I get it. I mean, there's I a sparring arena sense. if you want to try your hand, but um, yeah, no, I'm a. Uh, I'm, I'm a spellcaster myself, but I do a little sword stuff on the side. A little com physical combat. Uh, Runia has been, like, almost vibrating in her seat with nervousness, and she just goes, I juggle! Um, I, I mean... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dagar wait. goes, yes, you do, do you, Runia. Do you... I, you have an insane set of daggers. Uh, Is that what you juggle? Mm-hmm. And I and I throw and I throw them how, too. How many can you juggle at once? Six. That's sick. <laughs> That's you, awesome. Thank have you. Have you? Do you like come from? So Septon and I both come from like families of performers. Do you? Did Did you perform or like? Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. I was I was abducted and forced to join the circus as a very young age. <laughs> um. I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm exiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm disconnecting. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, Everett. Everett looks like like deeply like judgmental of this, but is noticing that everyone else is not. So he's just like he's like playing it cool. I, I was I was abducted and forced to join the circus at a very young age, and then Koro rescued me, and I have been living in one of their houses for a really long time. But then they said, "There's a school for you," and I said, "Okay." Well, hey, I'm glad you're here. Sorry to hear about what happened. Yeah. No, it yeah it happens to everybody. I mean, uh, well, no, I mean, obviously, no, it doesn't happen to everybody. But yeah, uh, you know, everybody has their own circus. What, yes. What was, what this was, is a circus. What was the name? It of is. It? No, 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 no. Like metaphorically. Okay. All right. <laughs> like, did did circuses ever come through Hellvast? Would I? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not the kind so. that like <laughs> enslaves people. <laughs> Fair. Then never. <laughs> Um, though you actually you do know Helvas is like rival Helvas's rival town a little bit to the north. 
the um, best rival circus. Well, it's it's another it's the other big vacation spot on the coast, Duran Stand. They have an aquatic like a, a permanent aquatic surface circus is their big like tourist oh. attraction. Which your dad hates. He hates it with a lip, burning fucking, passion. Fucking spectacle, no substance. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, she's like, I, yeah, um, it was called the Blood Circus. You probably haven't heard of them. Got it. Sounds like a bad time. It was. Wait, well, hey, you're here? Mm-hmm. Glad Coral That's found important. you. Yeah, yeah. Coral's a uh, good, good te- fiend. Um, Colrill's the best. Like honestly, of all our teachers, Colrill is the best. Yeah, he seems. They, 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 they seem pretty they have, awesome. They have their own. They all have their own like no. proficiency. No. <laughs> they all one, have their own talents. I'm, one of them. The only one was, I've. Go for it. One of they, them they was all... actively terrible. Okay, actively almost like caused a major calamity. Well, yeah. Right almost killed someone the other one was at best like making poor decisions right and what which one and then there's (laughs) colrill i've uh i've only met colrill but they seem pretty neat so far yeah Um, you got although i don't know i don't know if you've heard but the new tactics teacher i hear they used to be an admiral um, in the Hammerhead Alliance. So that's pretty cool. Do we know what the Hammerhead Yeah, Alliance Hammerhead Alliance is, it's a Bergen coalition in Zextria. They have, uh, a navy, and that navy is called the Hammerhead Alliance. And they're, like, the most hardcore navy. <laughs> Sean D knows all about the Hammerhead Alliance. <laughs> um, um, they are, they are the, uh, the strongest navy around because they're actively fighting off the Fellowship of, uh, Under the Crustacean King, all the time in the bloody sea. Forgot you know, about I, the I, fellowship I, under the crustacean king. Yeah. I, I mentioned a lot of this in my report back at the archive, uh, if you remember. Oh, it was so I, long ago. I, <laughs> these have your co- I, 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 I gave you. Have you checked your copy recently? It's it's been a little bit since I've flipped through it. You know, I was working on some other it's things. It's the one thing left in the old book. <laughs> 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 Seth and abandoned it. Um, but I, I feel that's pretty cool. I don't know anything else about them, but they used to be an admiral in the, uh, in the, the Hammerhead Alliance. Cool. Our old tactics teacher had a thing for our academics teacher, and it caused a lot of problems. Well, let's and hope we... that doesn't happen again. He also tried to kill, like, the administrator of our school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What? Because he got he got he got all sad boy about how Dude, he listen, did bad things. A bunch of people got possessed, right? But not and, him. But not him. And he was like, "I'm just gonna start killing people." And we were like, "No." And he's like, "I'm gonna do it." Uh, it was a whole bad scene. There's a reason he's not here anymore. Right? Yeah, you're you're uh, not wrong. And you see you see Rudy is just like staring at the table looking what? more and more Wait. scared and Maeve is starting to look a little bit nervous and like look I'm going to turn to Runia and I'm going to turn to Runia and be like hey at least you were found out by the coolest teacher mm-hmm. and not by the one that um caused problems and is no longer here but also uh-huh. like we're all it's all reformed. It's all good. Like, there was a whole, like, restructuring, new management. Like, it's all good now. Nobody's possessed. Um, Everybody's until fine. Until the next possession. The Don't next say that possession? Enough. I think I'm going to have some fun here. That was a joke, but okay. I mean, it sounds exciting. Oh, if you find candy laying around on campus, don't eat that. Do it's not. A big eat rule. The candy. Big rule. Okay. No, just random candy. What about candy the, the baked goods Mrs. Lee gave no, us? No, Mrs. Was... Lee is usually fine. That's okay. usually cool. All right. Yeah. Oh, I forgot all of your names. Which one of you is Tether? That the one that crawled down the, the wall. All right. I'm gonna have to find her later. I've got a, I've got a message for her from our mutual friend. Yeah. Ah, oh, friend, a friend she made in the Carleonan uh, government that is also my friend in the Carleonan government. Oh right. Tether has a friend in the Carleonan yeah. Rem- government? Remember when we were in the archives and Tether had to go out. Because her cult was causing problems. 
Right. And then like a fifth continent was created or something. Well, that, was, that was that was I, unrelated, but yes, I know. A, the new world was discovered. Oh. The new world while you were there. Speaking of the Kymian archives, did you hear Elitha went back and like took some other students? After what happened, Elitha was just like, fuck it, I'll do it again. I, It'll I be smart. It, I heard it was just one student and it was fine. I, it was fine. But to do it again. But 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 the crazy guy was gone, so it was just I'm... a normal library. With a haunted basement. As long as you didn't go in there, it was fine. We immediately went in the basement. I'm talking about after, though. Um. Well, I should run and find Tether Rooney. Are you all right? And she's like, yep. Yep. Um, and he goes, right. I'll as see you soon around. As, he, as soon as he leaves. How do you know him? What? Uh, to to Rooney. How... Did, did you know him before, or did you just meet at the way station when we saw you? Col Colorell introduced to- I've been- I, 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 I've been staying in, in town for a couple of days, um, and we stayed in the same place. He's really nice. Okay. Is he? Yeah! He- 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 um, and Maeve leaps forward and says, I haven't known him at all, but my read is that he- he wants to be cool. He's trying to come across as, as really worldly and cool. Oh, duh. Um, he keeps flashing a tattoo on his wrist, like, nonchalantly. Um, but he seems like he's got a good heart. Okay. I don't know. I just met him. And Ernie says, he, he's, he's, he's been really nice to me so far. So. Okay. Um... Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'm I'm like that with most people. I'm not judging you for liking him. No. Oh, I didn't. Which is kind of the vibe I was getting from you. But if Ooh. I was <gasps> wrong. What? Wait. What do you mean? What vibe? No. No vibes. Never Wh mind. What sort of vibe are you talking about, though? Cool. Dagger juggler vibes. Oh, Inceptin. uh, for me, I. Uh... Inceptin's head. I go, help me, help me, help me, help me. Inceptin says out loud, "Why is it always my head?" <laughs> anyway, <laughs> look at my other options. <laughs> <laughs> this probably doesn't make sense to any. Anyone, you, you, you've got Mr. Sword Polish, Mrs. Colt, and Mr. White Boy Swag. <laughs> I mean, he gives a little, he gives a little thing of like trying to look cool, but you know, that's how people his age I mean, are. He glanced. We, we, we went through the whole thing. thing. Contact with Maeve. She, uh, <laughs> she, she looks out at the table and smiles just a little bit. We went through that whole thing with Egg Boy. And I, Arleth, Arleth. I know. I, I Chelsea egg, wait, genuinely wait, forgot his name. Wait, sorry. Who's Arleth. sorry? Egg Boy. Arleth. 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 We don't call Arleth. him Egg Boy anymore. We've changed. Arleth. We've become better. All right. We've, we've Arleth had a redemption arc. Arleth, Arleth had a similar. We all grew and matured as people. Okay. Yes. Ar all right. Arleth had a similar heir to Dagar. So Dagar? he just mouths the words. Dagar. Tell. <laughs> mouths the words. I'll tell you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and and then we went through a whole he went through a whole redemption arc we I'll just save the a, town we saved the town together he basically risked his life so you know learning things about not judging people too quickly and all that see Runia oh, we saved the town it's not all bad here you're here well, we're here to be heroes right so yeah we have done a lot of good okay the <laughs> sentence says leaving the end of that sentence hanging <laughs> Um, it was say, well, um, I should get going as well. I have a friend waiting for me in town. Um, I think Isla said she was going to, but you're all invited to her big blowout bash, um, on a week from today, um, Sunday. Awesome. So, um, hope to see you all there. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Um, and, uh, and yeah, sorry. Great to meet all of you. I, I can't wait to, to, to learn some more about you. Wait, Maeve, are you yeah. on campus or are yeah. you commuting? No, from... I, I am. I have a room on campus. Yeah. 
I thought I, if I'm going to be a student, I'm going to do the whole student thing. My parents are still in town, of course, but, you know, I'm going to try to live independently. <laughs> I mean, I'm only like, what, 90-something years old now? You think I could uh, figure it out by now, so... <laughs> yeah, I know the feeling. Um, all right, I will see you guys later. Septon, good to see you. Everett, looking good. Keep at it. Um, see you so long Everett and she sort of she sort of pats you on the bicep and goes wow all right and then leaves you know I, I was it's not it's not a flirtatious thing she's clearly just trying to make him feel better about himself Everett believes it is entirely flirtatious of course yeah I mean there's fair. not a doubt in his mind that she's Poor not flirting with him at this moment oh the rest of you the rest of you all maybe not Shundi but Una no, Shundi, Shundi gets it. yeah I think you all just she's like oh this is this is little brother Everett and he's trying to work out so she's trying to make him feel good about it um and as she leaves um Druni is just there alone and she looks around she's just sitting very quietly across the table from you guys <laughs> pretty much <laughs> um is there anything you're excited about learning this besides like the overarching right, becoming um, a hero? Yeah, uh, I I suppose. Um, I don't I don't really know. I just thought um, Coral said it might be good for me to to socialize with people my age. Um, and I've been in hiding for like three years, so I, I I'm excited to make new friends. She says while not looking at any of you in the eyes. Yeah. We this all place, made a lot of new friends. This place is good for that. Okay. Whether you like it or not. Sorry. Joke. Joke. Okay. Haha. -ha. Yeah, sorry. Did, we're we're you... a little gruff with our uh, humor. We kind of had to be after last year. Yes, it happens when you forge bonds together on the battlefield. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> but y you remember Tether girl who crickly crawled down yeah. the back. I, I wish I could learn to do that. You should you can see if you can talk to her. I think you two have more in common than you think. Okay. Okay. I, I, it, I'm not saying you should. No, that's, I... That's not a it's pressure. A, it's a goal. Great. If, if you... I could help introduce you to a little more okay. officially instead of around a whole bunch of people. Okay. You won. Okay. Una's like looking at like a, me a an image into herself a year ago <laughs> and it's <laughs> <laughs> Um I uh I designed all of the underclassmen to be foils of each of what? you guys. So what? I wonder if you can guess who's who. I think some Whoa. will surprise you, actually. Um, but you you did hit the nail on the head with one of them already. <clears throat> okay. My food is done, um, so I will take my leave. And it looks like it took everything in her to say that. It was, it was a pleasure. Have a good night. Mm -hmm. She You're grabs right. her food and she, she, she leaves. And you guys Speaking are once again of... left, left. Speaking of I taking should... leaves... Oh. As, as soon as she gets up, I want to. Under her breath, Una kind of goes, I must protect her at all costs. <laughs> <laughs> and her eyes go black. <laughs> new, uh, the new class is uh, shaping up to be an interesting one. Seems to be that way. They, Speaking they seem of... just about equally cha chaotic as us. Maybe yeah. give or take. I wonder if they'll knock a town off the map. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope they're a little less chaotic than us, eh? Or less more, chaotic. and gets a little attention off of us. You haven't, you haven't seen the kid. Huh. Who? Carrick, the other one. He came earlier in the summer. I just didn't see him, and I they didn't mention they met him. Carrick? Carrick? Carrick. Oh, like Derek? Karak? It's Karak. Korok? It's Karak, yeah. Karak. Korak? Karak. K-A-R-A-K. It originally had some C-H sounds in there, but I simplified it, and I guess I shouldn't have. Yeah, it was that, but... 
You haven't well, seen haven't... it. If you see a guy that looks like what like an edgy 14 year old would doodle in their notebook, that's that's Karak. Hey. Kind of mean. At, at the words edgy 14 year old, Shandi like instinctively like glances at Everett and looks like. <laughs> Um, I have an errand I need to run. Uh, if anybody would like to join me in a quick trip to Mrs. Lee's office. But otherwise, I'll be going. You know what? I will come with you. All right. Perfect. I, head along. I'm going to go find Tether. All right. Everett, where are you, what are you heading up to? Oh, Arleth, <laughs> Arleth has shown up and he's just like looking around confused. <laughs> Was, yeah, because you invited him to lunch. I thought it was dinner. He said, let's get lunch. And he said, yeah, come on down. But he just now showed up, so he's he's here. Uh, okay. He's waiting. Wait, I thought hey, this was Hey, how, how, how you doing? It's afternoon. It's afternoon right now. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello, all. Welcome back. Hello. We're, we're kind of finishing up here, but if you want to just uh, sit down, I'm happy to eat right. with you for a little while. I mean, whatever. Chat. You wanted to hang out, so... Yeah. I'm here to hang out. What? Harleth, well, we got you. Did you know Maeve is joining Hagen? Oh, great. Another one. <laughs> he lives down here with us. All uh, right. Okay, well. Awesome. Cool. I mean, I figured she wasn't going to fail for it, um, but since she didn't start classes with us, but uh, Another one on our side. Yeah, one on your side, and the rest Another are on, on mine, our except side. for Daphne and Isla. Nah, nah, nah. But Daphne's mom works for Felfred, so she counts. Mm. Listen, when are we having our blast ball rematch? We just won, so take us on any time. It, it was pretty. It was pretty damn good. I, I Did you cheat this say. time? Oh, we've never cheated at blast ball, but you we have. Cheated. We have. We have revised our playbook. To more solidly align with the let the word of the the rulings, but technically we <laughs> were, technically we were never cheating. Technically, if oh, if my buddy Johnson rest in peace were here to he hear that, um, I don't know who that is, but I'm sorry for you. Ah, uh, Johnson was the one who said he cheated. I know. But he, he was unconscious for that. I know. Oh, Seth so was trying to yeah. guilt him with his dead friend. It didn't work. <laughs> Arleth? Yeah. All right. Try to guilt Arleth. Um, right. Um, well, Everett, if you wanted to, I don't know, walk around a bit. Yeah, why don't you pick some up and you can eat them and we can just, you know, walk around and Walking maybe do some reps. I stuff. think I might skip the food if you don't mind, but um, I'll definitely walk with you. I will also skip the reps. You'll have to get Yannick for that, but I'll I'll be here. I'll I'll hang out with you. I I, yeah, I enjoy your company. You. So And I and I yours. As, as my good acquaintance. Yeah, we'll get there. Alright, well Um alright, those two head off you you two Bye, I live. Um, you two head to Mrs. Lee's. Una, you look to find Tether. Tether, where'd you go? I went back to our place. And just to, okay, you're just back there. Cool. Um, yeah, no, no, like, well, she she didn't feel like meeting new people, so she finished, went down, and then just retreated back to her their sanctuary. All right. Um, She's in her room tracing where she wants the door to be. You hear a voice from downstairs that goes, Damn, we gotta get trees at our house. How'd they get a moat? Um, and you hear the voice of the half elf um, seems to be approaching your front door. Oh, uh, um, Dagar. Could I just say I hear noises of someone coming? Yeah, sure. You hear noises of someone coming. Cool. So Tether's just gonna be like, "Oh, I'm up here. Sorry for leaving early. I just did not want to meet new people." Oh, you hear loudly. I can come back at a better time. And you you now rec away. you now recognize this voice. She goes down the stairs. This is our apartment. Yeah, yeah. You left the door open, um, and I was coming to find you. I left the door open because I have an important meeting with the Acorn Coalition. 
The what? It's a need to know basis. Then I don't need to know. You do need to know, though, that we have a mutual friend. Um, Mate they're not your friends yet. No, 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 no. Mateus Dereba, the Inquisitor, the Carleonan Inquis Inquisitor. Um, he said to, to reach out to you when I got here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Did he get my last letter? I, I'm I... sure he did. He didn't tell me specifics. He just said that you were in correspondence and that we have similar interests. So. I hope the fire ants didn't die on the transit. They're, st they're sturdy creatures, from what I know. Carapaces. Right, carapaces. Well, I just wanted to... I'll come back later if you don't want to meet somebody new, but um, we have a mutual friend. I think we have similar backgrounds, so if you ever wanted to chat... Um... Okay, what cult were you in? Not a cult. Well, sort of a cult. Um... I know you guys don't have it around here. You've got the much more sensible Shaded Alley. Um, but I was in a bit of like a, a cult gang um, as a youngin. Sort of pre uh, like fell in with the wrong crowd, became a member of the Noble Folly. They worship a dead dude they call the King of Thieves. It's a, it's a whole thing. Um, oh, I you're in a cult gang? I was in a cult and now I'm in a gang. Right. I was wondering, do you have connections with the Alley? What? Oh, a squirrel gang? No, I, I'm sorry, Blake. I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> he says, uh, he, while you were doing that, he said, I, w I was wondering if you have connections with the alley. Like the shade um, alley. Also, a need to know basis. So, yes. All right, good to know. I... I didn't say yet. Well, but you did. I mean, you did, though, you know? Either way, either way. Just let him know. I don't mean him any harm. I don't work. I don't work for the Noble Folly anymore. I can't get the tattoo off. Um, I'm not infringing on any territory. I don't want any problems. I don't want any trouble. I'm trying to trying to live a different life now. So just, I figured I should put the word out there so that uh, they I don't. Mean, I mean, even though if you're even though you're completely wrong about my affiliations. Um, if I were to be in that group, I would tell them. Right. Any winks. Is your eye hurting? <laughs> okay. You are as entertaining as I was told you would be. I think we're going to get along. You're a fun okay. person. Um, either way, uh, Inquisitor Dereba said we should stick together. Um, and as always, if we need anything from him or from Care Leone, not to hesitate to let him know. Okay, but if you're also writing him letters, um, you should know. Um, I was told by the post people that my um, pack, my letters are too big, so I can't add more. So we'd have to send separate. That's fine by me. I can I can pay my own postage. Cool. All right. Well, stay uh, stay cool then. Um, well, it is the summer, so that's harder. But I I have a nice terrarium now that will totally oh. regulate the temperature. Okay, sounds good. I, I hope it does. Right then. And he sort of like pats the door a couple times and just turns around and goes. Um, Una, you 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 see him crossing the moat and he just sort of does one of those and then continues away. I'm back. Sorry. <laughs> Welcome back. I just... I don't even nod. <laughs> <laughs> she just does Una face and keeps walking. All right. The house. Yeah, and you, you see Tether in the stairway. Hey, Hi. Tether. Hi. Hi. Uh, make making friends. I don't think so. He just entered without permission. Oh, ew! I closed the door. <laughs> um, are you okay? I know that was, like, a lot. Um, I don't really, um, I wasn't expecting to have to meet so many people. I didn't uh, realize Elias was going to bring the whole crowd. I kind of thought, hey, you, you can come join us. Yeah. I didn't think he would bring the whole crowd. 
That's why I said uh, a written invitation because then he had a, the invitation. I and mean, then... it's it's an understandable misunderstanding. Um, but I, they're not they're not that bad. Um, I think if you get to know them at your own pace and at your on your own time. Um, th there was one girl that was kidnapped as a kid. I was kidnapped as a kid. So, yeah. I I, I sort of Wait. said... Uh, what? Is it, a, is it not a, a good connection if I don't remember mine? <laughs> I don't think that's a huge <laughs> problem. Would that be awkward to bring it up? It's like, I was kidnapped too. And then she said, how, how was your kidnapping? And I, and I go, I, I don't I think... know. I <laughs> think... I think it's more that you could bond over the the experience after the kidnapping. Okay. Um. I I did tell her that if she I offered, if cause cause she just seemed very very nervous, um just about kind kind of like you, but she wasn't able to crawl down a wall. Um. She also thought that was pretty cool. I think it was more pretty cool because you haven't had an easy escape but she still thought it was pretty cool okay and and i offered if sometime i could help introduce you both not in a huge people setting but only okay. if you're cool with that well i get pretty cool in my room now um... only if you're okay with that Okay. Only only her. Mm hmm Okay. Because I just don't know what But I'll be there. So many people. I know. I know. Because you're just focusing on one person and that's all that's already a minefield. Then there's another person. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, speaking of invitations. Yes. She's gonna pick up the invitation, the Isla invitation that she had, she put down, and no one noticed. <laughs> um, you're, you're you're invited. What? From Isla? No way! Wait, no, Una. Remember, I'm Isla. <laughs> <laughs> I, I put my hands on her shoulders. And I'm like, Hey, Tether. Yeah. Never ever change. <laughs> But then I have to change to Isla for the party. <laughs> Una, Una's, Una's just Una's just kind of laughing. Um, right. o only, never change, only, never, ever, but only into Isla when necessary. <laughs> okay. I'm, Isla's friend with Maeve, and Maeve's nice. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I I don't, I just didn't get any read on her. That's fine. Not bad or good, but just. just I don't know fine. how I feel about her either. Okay. Um. What else? Um. The. The guy who was just here said you had a mutual friend. Oh yeah, my pen pal. I have a pen pal from Carolina. He's right. the guy who interrogated me, and we had a right. wonderful conversation. <laughs> and um, he seemed so super interested in my in me, and I was super interested in him. And so I've been writing letters um, to him all summer, and he's been sending me letters back. And he's uh -huh. really nice for advice. What does he write back? Um, not a lot about himself, but. Because in my letters, like, um, I was spending most of my time as Isla this summer, and, um, like, um, I, I mean, and it's been so, it's been so confusing because it's like, I, like, there's so many documents that you have to fill out when you buy land, and so, like, he was really very helpful in that process, and, um, <laughs> and he, like, Tether, Tether, Tether? <laughs> yeah. Tell me about your summer. <laughs> what did you do? And what did Isla do? And make sure her I know which 
Specific. You need to be specific. What did Isla do and what did Heather do this summer? Um, well, I, Tether, um, Tether came every, um, was here every Sunday, and Tether, um, she, um, trained Awuna, and, um, uh, okay. made a bunch of, helped with a bunch of these plans Great. in this building, okay. and, uh, the Acorn Coalition. So Tether, really so Tether, so Tether was here on Sundays? On Sundays, that's great. when you got, you what did, so, great, so what did Isla do? Um... Well, I was spending a lot of time in town. Trying I not mean, to look at Blake. <laughs> I was, well, I was spending a lot of time in town and um, meeting new friends and and basically meeting new friends. But like one of them, two of them are ever in Septon, but they're friends with Isla in a different way than they're friends with Tether. And um, we made a bunch of other friends. Arliss, it's, like I have a whole friend group. Right. Isla has a whole friend group. And, you know, friends, we hang out a lot. And we go to each other's houses and they're mm -hmm. like, oh, Isla. Where's where do you live? And I said, oh, and I said, oh no, I don't have a place. Isla doesn't have a place to live. But I don't know if you know, but I actually have a lot of money, and so I um yeah, we briefly covered it last year. And so I went up to I I don't know if you remember. I'm also in a, a gang. Yes. <laughs> so I went up to my crime boss. He's a crime boss. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I said, hey, crime boss, I have this cover in town. And I was thinking about buying land in order to have a house. And he said, oh, that's a great idea. We would like to have a place for canvassing and stuff. And like, you know, a safe house. And I said, oh, cool. I have all this money. Do you want to help use this money to buy a house? And so um, I have a house. It's in my name. It's in, um, it's in, um, I forget what, the cobbles? Not the cobbles. It's the, um, Ashgrove. The, the, it's in Ashgrove. Um, Which is the real bougie part of town. <laughs> apparently it's technically called a manor. Um, um, like we have a land and we have a big house and, and, um, you know, um, the, the, um, the game and men they like, used it as a safe house. And also like, we do have a lot of jobs like in the rich part of town. So that's where we like do our staging area. And, um, the, um, the, the boss is pretending to be my dad and, um, he's, and he has great paninis. My friends love his paninis. Um, and um, Dina's being my big sister, and yeah. <laughs> so, 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 you're a homeowner. <laughs> I worked for my family's business, and you became a homeowner. <laughs> I... Wow. So, what? Honestly, I have, I actually have no questions. <laughs> that covers it. In incredible, Tether. Yeah, wow. and also, um, yeah. And also, um, um, I like, got really into, um, uh, um, the, um, t involved in the town. And so, um, she's actually in charge of the, the event can calendar for the dance hall. Um, I don't know if you're interested, but every Monday is magic. Uh, every the first Monday of every month is Magic Monday. So it's a singles night. Unfortunately, Septon is not going to be performing there anymore because school started. Um, but Fridays are open mic night, and we do a lot of um, town betterment projects. Like we have a soup a soup drive, uh, a can drive um, that's out of Septon's work every. Saturday morning, people bring food for the needy people of this community. We do river dredging a lot, and we do um, just a bunch of stuff. Swap meets. Swap meets. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. That's... Yeah. Una just kind of stands there for like a whole minute and doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, so like I said, what's mine is yours, is you guys's. So if you guys ever need like a place to stay in town, you feel, f I already told the, um, the boss, you guys are always welcome inside the house. It'll make more sense for you to be like, oh, let's just stay at Isla's because you know it's my house. They, the other guy, you guys might be weirded out by that. But um, yeah, we have a pool. Cool. I can't swim in the pool because of the hat. Right. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> I don't know. Skip to tempt. All right, cool. As as, as as Una as Una takes all of this in, we'll go to Shandi and Septon. You, I mean, you deliver the you deliver the the thing. She unfurls it, reads it, says, "Ooh, another quest." <laughs> You'll learn about those tomorrow. Um, and she puts it aside. Oh, that was simple. Oh, um, have you met the underclassmen yet? Uh, most of them, I think. Yes. All right. <clears throat> even, even, um, even Karak? Well, Septon's familiar, I believe. He's actually <laughs> training in the, the, uh, the training arena right now, if you, if you don't want to, if you do it. He's, he's a bit shy, but I'm, I'm sure he'd appreciate to meet some of you. Hmm. I suppose. I mean, nothing better to do. We could always swing by and say hello. All right. Well, ah, look at you already being good upperclassmen. <laughs> Mrs. Lee. Yes. I'm putting it in now. Music <laughs> club. Well, you need one other student involved, and then I can then you can submit an application. Oh, I, gotta, I have to find somebody else? Yes. It's your <sighs> club. If you're starting the club. Rats. All right. <laughs> I'll be back in a bit. I um, thought oh, like two people had to propose it to you, and then it was. Right, see, well, you have to come together to you know. I see the miscommunication now. You can't have I'll a club with one person, else. so. Um, I'll, I'll I'll make an announcement that you're looking for a club club members at the at the meeting tomorrow. All right. Sounds good. All right. Have fun. Um. Yeah. You 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 head on out. Everett, you and Arleth walk around a bit. He watches you do some push-ups. <laughs> Um, hey, Arliss. Um, thanks for thanks for hanging out. I, you know, I'm sorry the rest of the gang didn't didn't come along. No, it's all right. Uh, it's we're not close. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you really, you know, helped us out last year, and, and yes, and uh, you and you helped me out. We're, well, of course, we're good. We're acquaintances, you know. I I appreciate all of their presence, but you and I suppose Septon, I know a little bit better, so it's it's all right. Um, I hey, I've been I've, I... I've been meaning to ask why are you um why are you so keen on working out all of a sudden? What do you what do you mean? Is it, is it like noticeable or something? Well, you do it all the time. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm just you know, I'm just like I, you know, I just like I'm I'm just like trying to and it's just like what what I do, you know, it's just like who I am. All right. Um, um... and well, here's the thing, Everett. Here's the thing, Everett. Um, uh, you're great. You are great as a as a workout machine. Uh, no days off, as Yannick always always says. Um, but you you were great as a bookworm too. So don't feel like you you have to work out if you don't want to. Clearly, you want to, but just like if you feel like you don't, is it you know weird? What? Is it fuck? weird that I'm doing it? No, it's like, not I weird. Fuck like, off! Like it's, it's it's fuck off! Doesn't whatever. Doesn't who who cares? Never mind. Work out. Do your push-ups. It's fine. Do you think that May likes me? <laughs> uh, what? I she likes all of us. She's very nice. She she likes everyone. Nah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, Shanti and Septon, you, you walk past and you see Everett, like, on the ground, and you see Arleth looking maybe the most uncomfortable he's ever looked in his life. Um, Arleth goes, ah, ah. Did we catch Arleth's eye? Do we? <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you can, but he's, he's like, looking at the ground, just like, Gh. He goes, Shandy, well, Shandy, add counter, counter question, do you think Isla likes me? <laughs> I, oh. I don't know if we should uh, interfere. Inside, did, uh, inside check, does Isla like... Uh, does Isla you don't need, fancy? You don't need to make an insight check. You can if you want, but... Or insight check Isla too hard. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> ten. Ten. No, not really. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I don't, uh, I mean, what did you notice? What do you, what do you mean? Like you, you know, if I don't you're know what, if what, have, like, what have you her. what have you noticed about Maeve? She keeps like touching me and saying nice stuff about the way that I look. Like I don't know, I feel like what other indicators are there? <laughs> oh boy, uh, this is why I don't have friends. Um, you are great. 
you're great. Uh, you're awesome. And I'm sure she likes you in a way. All right, well, I'm going to ask her the dance, so. I mean, she'll probably say yes. So, good well, There we good go. That, that what about, you're not, you're not taking Daphne anymore? I'm sure she'll be a little sad. Was I ever taking Daphne? Yeah. That? Oh my god. That's how that's how Se that's how Septon uh that's how Septon broke up with her by you asking her to the dance. No. <laughs> Daphne can't Daphne. Oh Jesus Christ. Um Oh Yeah. Yeah. Look at how uh, li the little player you are. I don't I don't know where no, you I'm came so from bad, or what, what what the world's no, like just... there, but uh <laughs> Trying to win the hearts of all the women in Kalshar? Come on now. No, I just, I guess, you know, Maeve's, you know, Daphne hasn't, like, talked to me. <laughs> Maeve is, like, you know, seems, like, interested in me, which is, you know, so I guess I thought that maybe I would ask her you should, to the dance. You but... should ask her to the dance, but you should tell Daphne you're going to do it. Don't blindside her. Um, you remember what happened with Septon. Yeah. I'm sure she'll be. Listen, Everett, I'm sure she won't be be sad about it, but you shouldn't just show up at a dance with a different girl. Even, Maybe even, I even, know... even, even I know that's kind of a scummy thing to do. Mm. And as, as, as Isla and Maeve love to tell me, I'm not the most socialized guy around, so. Well, maybe I'll go to the dance with Daphne, and Maeve sees how good Tom Daphne's happened. <laughs> And says, "That's interesting to me, <laughs> buddy. So I, I, I am so, <laughs> buddy. I am so the wrong guy to be asking about this. I just, what are you the right guy to be asking about stuff? Then? Most like, things, you know... most things. I'm very good at, but like relationships, it's not my forte. I, I, right. I'm an only child, and I wasn't allowed to leave my dad's." mansion until I was 13 so like I don't I don't know and don't repeat that uh, no no, no don't. I'm not, I'm not I'm, no I won't repeat it but now I have a secret of yours so now we're friends <sighs> fine fine we're friends I don't know maybe Maves likes you maybe Isla likes me maybe maybe Septon's the king of the Feywild who knows like anything's possible wow that's a lot of speculation going on there um <sighs> okay Cool, 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 cool. It's it just weird people out that I that I'm doing this. I feel like I thought that it would be like cool, but now I feel like you know I, what your reaction was. I'm just was, so that, like, sad like... that I brought it up in the first place. Actually, um, you're fine. You're great, Everett. I just wanted to make sure you weren't being pressured to be somebody you're not. No, I'm just you know I'm like I put the pressure on myself. That's like part of who I no, am. No, no so. days off. I understand. Yeah, that's yeah. I get it. Cool. Okay. Right. Um, well, bah, um, you are great, Everett. I have homework. Um, it was it was good to see. I'm, I'll see you soon. Uh, you going to Isla's thing? I don't think yeah, I don't think I'm going to get an invite to the dance, so I probably won't see you at that. But I'll see you at Isla's thing for sure. Okay. Well, if you're not going to the dance, you know, just like. You know, tell uh, somebody some, and we'll make sure somebody to, asks you. I mean, so. someone has to invite me to the dance in order for me to go to the dance, you know? All right, well, I invited you. I'm, I'm inviting you right now. You want to go to the dance? You're going with Daphne. Yeah, but I mean, I can go with multiple people. I can just can say, this I don't know what the rules are. I would like, I would like Arliss to come to the dance. I don't want a third wheel. I mean, uh <laughs> Okay, so you don't want to come to the dance. No, That's I do want to. Thing. No, yeah, no, 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 no you're right. I, you I couldn't care. I, listen, I couldn't care less about your stupid dance, all right? I, I'll see you later, Everett. <laughs> and he's just, stupid he, dance. he's like beat red. Um, and he just, he, he's, he's like, ah, and he storms off. What a weird guy. <laughs> Hello, Everett. Hey. <laughs> you were just watching. <laughs> Straight up just watching. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Shandy, what do you think of my form? Mm. I do some push ups. It's, yes, it's, um, it's good. I, from what I can tell, we were on our way to the, um, to the, the, the what's it called? The training pit, the training, training arena, zone. Whatever, whatever you want training. to call it. We were on our way to the training arena uh, to meet one of the new students. If you wanted to join us, 
we were, we were sure, yeah, no, okay. I'm, yeah. I'll, I'm happy to come along, yeah. I will join them. All right, you head on over there, and you see a figure. Um, a figure, you see a figure. My last description of the day. <laughs> um, you see a soul figure practicing against a training dummy. He is a boy with a small frame, maybe 5'1", um, but that is ab the, the frame is absolutely filled with muscle definition. He's quite small, especially in comparison to the massive greatsword he wields, but every inch of him seems built for battle. He sports a tangle of light brown hair, unstyled and wide that, uh, uh, wild, that abruptly shifts to white in several places. And from the center of each of these white patches, a gnarled, curly horn protrudes. These horns, of which there are about five, um, curl in strange directions, one even seeming to be filed down as to not pierce his right cheek with its point. Um... He's wearing simple leather armor, covered in cuts and marks, heavily used and repaired. His right arm alone swings the greatsword, and his left arm ends in a black, scaled claw. Um, his wrists are both locked in cuffs, and a long chain that connects them runs behind his body and is attached to his armor on the small of his back. Um, as he approaches, he stops, and he turns to look at you, and he's got a shockingly pale face, with permanent dark circles carved under his eyes. But the eyes that they surround are not tired. They are strong, wild, and suspicious. He turns and looks at you. And rests the greatsword on his back. Shondi, do you have any of your swords with you? Um, yeah, I would say I definitely have uh, probably just my rapier on me. Cool. His eyes go from your face. He, his eyes, like, look at your faces for a second, but then he looks straight at your rapier. And doesn't stop looking at it. It hello, um. Hey, Karak. We met earlier in the summer, right, Septon? My buddy Shandy. Uh, Shandy. Yeah. Okay. You know me. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to say hi. We're going around meeting the new students. Where'd you get the sword? No, oh, this one. Um. I never made a sword, did I? No, I still haven't made one. You haven't finished that yet, no. Got is this your is this your your flame tongue one that you got in the, the Underdark? Oh yeah, it would probably it would be that one. Um, this one I I acquired during a school trip last year. You can get you can get swords on the school trips. Oh, you can find all manner of things. All sorts of things can happen on the school trips. Don't think of them as school trips so much. Think of them as little adventures. Yeah. Okay. Dave. What are you uh, practicing? He just looks at his sword. Hitting stuff. Fair enough. A worthy pursuit. It's a pretty small sword. Oh, yes, but it's quick. Agile. <laughs> okay. I've been told it's not the size of the sword, rather how you use it. Well, yes, Septon, that's objectively true from that's, a standpoint. That's just like a how a military standpoint. That's just how swords work. I mean, I, I gave up on the sword. <laughs> they about they a year say ago. that at the same time. <laughs> uh huh. All right. <laughs> well, if you're a, if you're a fan of the blade, uh, I was planning on pitching a swordsman's club at tomorrow's meeting. I joined that. Um, perfect. I have. I already have my second member, Septon. You've got a unbelievable <laughs> get working on that music club, I guess. I am. Um, <sighs> I, I, uh, I practice most nights. If you wanted to come show me your technique, you could do that. Yeah. I'd be happy to. Okay. Would you be interested in joining something? I'm calling. I'm gonna call it like the um, the grind, the grind, the grind club. <laughs> what what happens do? in the grind club? <laughs> what would you What would you do there? Just like you know, work out and just like really oh. sculpt our, you know, our our bodies. I've had my body sculpted before. I don't really want to do that again. Cool. No, I was just asking, so it's all good. Why would you? Why would you do that to yourself? I I think Everett means like physical fitness, building muscle. Oh. You know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I could. I, I work that, out. I work out. So. That is. That is what I meant. Like just like working, working out or something. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I, I work out a lot. So. 
Okay. Cool. I look forward to uh to sharing our clearly very different, but uh, I assume equally as potent techniques. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna go back to practice now. Very well. Well, it was a pleasure making your acquaintance. And then he, he just wordlessly turns around and he starts swinging that sword again. Ah, oh, this sword is crazy. You've never seen a sword like this before. It's like pure black blade. Um, and as you look at it, you almost see like something moving inside of it. Um, it's also huge. It's like it's like gut-sized sword. I have a question. Mm hmm Do the scales of his black arm... And his black claw look familiar to me? No. No. Okay. It's more lizard. It's like lizard-like. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I make a quick history check based off my research into the summer to see if I would know what kind of material the sword's made out of? Yeah, yeah, totally. It skins where when it moves. It's a little, yeah. it is a little bit like that, yeah. 13. I think even a 13, with any research into swords, you would recognize this. This is a this is a legendary sword he's wielding, called the Nine Lives Stealer. It can literally sever someone's soul from their body and trap it inside the sword. It was last known to be owned by a particularly brutal devil um, in the Nine Hells who loved capturing people, their souls, and showing them off as trophies. The Nine Lives Stealer. And Shandy's a cat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Today, no! Today, Shandy met the man who will we kill him. Shandy's <laughs> big bad! <laughs> Um, and like, it's not a good legendary sword. It's it's particularly evil. Uh, I feel but like this kid has it. Who, like we meet the man who will kill Sean D. Every episode, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, this semester's gonna be different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as you guys as you guys head back to camp uh, to your to your dorm to meet up with your friends and get ready for a good night's sleep before your first day of classes. That is where we will end tonight's episode of Bright Future. Sorry we went a little bit long. I wanted to make sure all the underclassmen got introduced That's in the first great. session. I was so worried going into this. I'm like, oh, I only wrote nine pages. Is that going to be enough? Dude, yeah, of course it was. Like it was. It's us. We did anyway. three pages. <laughs> so next, we're good. Next session, no RP. No, you better RP. Um, no RP. Next session, you will be learning how school's going to work this semester, though, and it is a little bit different, so... Stay tuned. But for those of you watching, thank you guys so much for joining us in our in our inaugural episode of season two. Um, if you didn't catch it, the VOD will be up on Wednesday. I'm I'm doing that. This I'm making sure they're out on time this season. Uh, I'm gonna do a better job. Um, yeah, man, I miss these characters so much. Every interaction, I'm just like, ah, we're home. We're fucking home, dude. <laughs> Feels good. I'm I'm really excited for the rest of this. All right. I I've been me. You've been you. Um, thanks for watching. If you're not currently playing a game of uh, a TTRPG with your friends, you absolutely should be because it's the only place where you can you can have no days off. You can't do that um, in any other hobby. You really can't. Um, that is gonna be uh, all from us today. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.